It was uh, pretty dark outside. Uh, thanks to Sweeble's dancing light globules, uh, which illuminated the camp, uh, you uh, very um, intentionally uh, made your way to one building at a time. And um, upon discovering someone trapped inside the, the lodge, uh, Westside Deadwater in his true form busted through the front door uh to to save the, the the trapped person and was promptly attacked by a massive insectoid who erupted out of the ground inside the lodge um you guys all uh came together and, and fought several of them uh throughout the the camp throughout the night uh you res rescued uh tiber wester the half brother to the town master in Fandolin. Uh, who you then uh, worked with to uh, rid the camp of the rest of the beasts. You discovered a um, some sort of a totem that was buried in the center of the camp, uh, which you destroyed um, all the pieces of. Uh, and Except one, right? Or did we get Gino? Or, um... <clears throat> Zobal he, he tried, to save a, tried to save a piece, I believe. Oh, but okay. it was did you did you keep it or no yeah i think he still has it um meanwhile uh whisper mouse found a fishing pole in a in a wagon or tried to find a fishing pole and it was given one by tibur and uh promptly uh tried to do some fishing but snapped the line and then you guys made your way back into Fandolin, where you uh collected did you collect a reward i believe you no you didn't collect the reward i don't think because as you approached the uh, town master's hall, you found uh, that the door was locked. Um, however, you did have a meeting, or Sweebles the third had a meeting with Halia Thornton, where he uh, learned some information and um, maybe struck up a partnership of sorts. And and um, then you guys made your way to the sleeping giant where you were lauded as heroes, given free drinks for the night, and offered uh, jobs to anybody in, in around who wanted to go up to the logging camp. Uh, Whisper Mouse became quite inebriated and was carried home <laughs> over the shoulder, fireman style, by uh, Black Braid, uh, while Sweebles escorted to the inn. Uh, Zobal and Deadwater uh, made another trip to the shrine, um, found nobody there and, and met back up at the end with you guys where you retired for the night and reached level three. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. The sun rises on the, on the next day. Um, you guys all wake up well rested. Um, what's from else? Can you make a constitution saving throw for me? Oh shit. Oh, shit, dude. It's got poison. Oh hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, I rolled a nineteen plus one. Twenty. This guy. This guy's got feeling um weighted dice. Surprisingly <laughs> yeah. good. Um, and... <laughs> he had a bacon egg and cheese yeah. at the at the end, Just dude. Greasy. <laughs> I, I chugged the Pedialyte like my good friend Wes Eli. No, 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 we'll bring that up another time. <laughs> uh Came down, had a little hair of the dog, maybe, and and avoided the uh, mm. the hangover. Um, had some real leftover greasy rabbit and leek stew. Um, <laughs> you guys are in the the Stonehill Inn and are welcome to do whatever you would like. Whatever. Um, real quick, <laughs> um, I keep forgetting to update my character sheet. Do you guys remember how much total gold we've gotten so far? From all the rewards, <laughs> what? I haven't taken any. Oh, I think everybody's okay. just been separately taking the things, and then we divvy them up later. But I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like with the rewards, like the hundred <clears throat> gold, right? We didn't split them. Did we get the reward oh. though? Oh yeah, you we got, did. We did the other ones in the past. Yeah, you I'm got a couple of rewards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You, uh, I usually just add it in live or whatever. Like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I usually I think we usually say we split it. Equipment you know. and then currency. Yeah. Right now, I <clears throat> I don't know if I should tell say I have 177 gold. 
Okay, so then you could definitely have been splitting the rewards. Yeah. yeah. Well, so 68. I think you've gotten 200 total in rewards, I think. Mm. Is that right? Or is there more than that? That sounds about right. I know from clearing the, the Red Brand hideout, you got 100 from both Sildar and from... I took Hallia. all the gold from that camp that we were just at to give to the workers. I still have that. Right, um, but as yeah. far as like the no, rewards that would have been split, yeah. right. I, didn't, I, think you've I only, didn't make anything extra. I think you've only gotten two hundred. Right, so total. fifty. Okay. What? Right, move on. Forty, right? You forty or sixty? Forty. <laughs> There's five of you. Oh, forty. Yeah. Well, can I start with a little bit of gold too, Jay? All right. You know, I come from a, Ooh, a nice family. All right. Don't worry. Okay. About it. All right. <laughs> I know who to pick. I, I haven't now. even broken out my chain yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys make your way down to the tap room where you've, uh, the four of you find uh, Whisper Mouse already up, raring to go, sitting uh, belly up at the bar, breaking his, uh, his fast and, and uh, in, a, in a pretty good mood, good all things considered. Good morning. Just a straight up elf working at Santa's shop again. <laughs> it's different every time. Yeah. It's not, it's not good this morning, man. What's up? Yeah. I'm I'm really good. There we go. Great. You drank a lot. How are you how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is a different voice transformer all of a sudden. I feel like I don't mm. know this thing anymore. I feel like I used to have it. Um do I just go to my normal voice? You're a normal no. voice today? <laughs> yeah, no way. You're a level three whisper mouse. You're a little different. Oh. Than you. Yeah, you could be a little deeper, yeah, maybe. Your scar healed today, too, it looks like. Oh, huh? shit. You got rid of the scar, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my scar is. Level three, fine. no scar. Nice. Yeah, clean it up. Okay, my immersion. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. Honestly. Clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling great. Nice. All right. Looking good. I feel I feel stronger. Wow. All that Pedialyte. I feel <laughs> I feel different. Different. Yeah. Like I don't know what it is yet. Did you have your espresso today? <sighs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um should we check the board to see if we got any inquiries or what for the job? You know. Well, does anyone have any business in town that we need to take care of? Um, not immediately. All my business is on the Tribor Trail. And Felpip. I just think we should check the board to see if we got any workers. Sure. Yeah, let's go, dude. You guys want to enjoy some breakfast? Sure. Yeah. All right. This bar is awfully quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that me? <laughs> is it playing anything? I have no idea. I don't think so. Yeah, I got a nice cool. little. I got a nice little tune in the background. Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. Myself, though. That was Here, how about self, this? Self production. Yeah. Go. Oh, I hear it now. <sighs> so, Wesseli, why do you feel different? Good night's rest, or what? I don't know. High off the cleansing I just of the feel... membranes? I just feel, uh,. Not necessarily angry, not necessarily happy. I'm just very. I don't know. Too much weird. elation. Um, what, Westlaw, do you think you have a parasite? Should we have the cleric uh, check you out? Uh, you know what? Let me get a coffee. Where's uh, where's <laughs> Toblin? Um, you look around. Uh, Toblin is nowhere to be seen. Um, but his, uh, you do see his wife, Trailina. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, good. Good morning. Um, it's it's nice to see you guys. Um, it's uh, it's really nice to see you guys. Actually, the it's nice to see anybody these days. Uh, the, the red brands are, are gone, and and it's just great. 
She's got just a beaming smile on her face. Permanent. <laughs> I'll take a coffee. I can do that for you. Um, any, any of the rest of you need anything? Warm goat's milk, but you already knew that. Oh, let me get a fresh loaf. Smiles and nods. She says, I'll bring the usual and heads back to the, um, to the kitchen. Uh, a few minutes later, she comes back. She's got uh, fresh, warm loaves of bread for you. Uh, the goat's milk, coffee. Um, she's even got a couple plates of spiced potatoes and eggs. Ooh, wow. Spiced uh, And she puts it all down. Mm. You guys are, uh, you guys are welcome anytime. Uh, really. Stay as long as you'd like. Thank you, Trailina. Um, she skitters off to help, uh, some other people who are, uh, in the inn here eating, um, breakfast as well. It's not like a, um, a lot of places to, to go to eat. So either people make their own food at home or they come to the inn or the, the sleeping giant, maybe if they're, uh, feeling a little adventurous or brave, uh, maybe the food's not quite as good over there. What? I'm thanks, sorry? Thanks for the beer, Trailina. Oh, you just spilled... What? Yeah. <laughs> you just what? spilled beer on your mouse pad? Is that part of it? I thought you brought it in because we're in the tavern. Yeah, we're in... Or kind of. It's an inn. I thought... I don't know okay. how... I don't know how I feel about you guys talking in Whispermouth. Whispermouth. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, both yeah, be okay. back and forth. Okay. It's not part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, anyway, great, great. I cracked a beer. Um, Zooball, you want some of these spiced potatoes or what? You just gonna stand there? Uh, I, I am I'm enjoying the company this morning of everyone. It's good to know. Because I, I think we should get our day started already, though. I think so, Let's move too. along. Let's go check the board. I really, I'm very curious to see if we have any workers that want to do the trade route. <laughs> Um, so you guys head out of the inn, um, you're headed down to the, the town master's hall, I guess. Did you put a notice up on the board? I remember you talking about I don't know if we sending people did. there. I don't think you ever <laughs> you put just, a notice. You, you were so drunk you thought you did, now you're just going to check the board. We get to the board. Shit! It's just <laughs> blank. Shit, there's no notice. <laughs> <laughs> I know West did like 14 speeches like, last uh -huh. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, we did a lot of speeches, so maybe we'll just wait and see if a townsperson comes up to us. I don't know. So what are you going to do? Just wait in the middle of town? <laughs> just show face and hopefully they show up. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so we didn't leave the notice, like Western Mouse Bot. Shouldn't <laughs> we go talk to uh, the mayor, right? Yeah. Wasn't he like out and he should be in? Well, I'm trying but... to think... Who else someone would acquire with to find work in town? Anybody else we would know of? We can go to the miners' exchange, see if anyone there has stopped by. I Doesn't like work. it. Isn't the mayor the brother as well of the gentleman you were trying to help? Harvin West there, or whatever his name. Sure, that name. That sounds right to me. Yeah, we brought we, his brother Tibber with us back down here from. Uh, the mining yeah, camp, or from the timber camp. Yes, let, let's try both locations. Well, cool. You guys are standing in front of the town masters hall. You want to yeah, let's go in. head on in, I guess? Sure. Nice. Um, you push the door open. Um, in. <laughs> <laughs> Someone getting splotted. Did you play those as, knocks? I just knocked. Oh, as okay, you're okay. <laughs> pushing the door open slightly as you, as you knock on the door, the, pushing it open, um, hearing the I guess it's no longer a tavern, huh? <laughs> it's the sound of the town now. The, the, the town the hall's fucking bread. jamming. <laughs> They're really uh, that loot out there, dude. <laughs> you push your way into the tavern. The the sound of you um, of you knocking as you enter. You you look up and there's two uh, two people, two men. Uh, you recognize as both Harbin and uh, Tibber Wester, who who. Turn and look um, your way. Uh, 
Harbin doesn't really um, react much. He kind of just like looks over and then and looks back to continue his conversation with his brother, his half brother. Um, but Tibber says, "Oh, a uh, uh, good morning, uh, friends. Um, I, I'm happy to see you guys again. I, I can't thank you enough for uh, for rescuing me um, yesterday. It was uh, really quite an ordeal. Uh, I, I was just telling Harbin here about about the bravery that you showed and and." And, and how lucky I am that, that you guys came. Uh, it's the least we could have done. We are working on getting you some workers. We put out the message in the town. We'll see. Oh, yes. Uh, actually, there's been a, huh. already a couple people that stopped by this morning. Um, they were inquiring about some sign-up board or something, but I, I, I wasn't really sure what they were talking about. Uh, um, right, right, right. So you see, I did drink a big beer. Um, I was intending to put up a message if they wanted to work for the uh, for your old camp there. Oh, that's uh, that's that's a good idea. Um, we could probably post one on the on the board um, if if that's right with you, Harbin, on outside the 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 the, the master's hall here. He kind of just. He looks completely disinterested, but he he turns and he just yeah whatever, and and like kind of like sits down at his desk while you guys are having this conversation and starts starts doing work of some kind. You see him tallying things on a on a some parchment in front of him. I'm gonna. Yeah, can I, I, uh, you, oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just wanted to make a perception check on the legitimacy of Tibber's uh, greeting towards us. Oh, uh, you can roll and an insight just, check. Like, thankfulness. Fourteen. You don't have any reason to believe that he's being uh, deceitful in any way. He looks genuinely happy to see you. Okay. Uh, Tipper, are you gonna be in charge of hiring these men and interviewing them or whatever for the position? Oh yes, I'm. Uh, I would assume I would. I would head back out. Up to the camp uh, now that now that you guys have have got it cleared out and hopefully we don't have any more trouble. So, being the the the, the manager the up at the the camp there, I, I I will probably probably take that mantle on yes and and hire them myself. Okay. Uh, how many stopped by this morning? Uh, just a couple. Okay. I'm gonna hand you this twelve gold because that's what you paid the last twelve people, correct? One gold each. Um. Yeah, I mean, we it was on contract, so usually for a, a month or so, it was it was a couple gold per person per per month. Okay, I'm gonna give you these. I'm gonna give you twenty four gold then. That should be enough for two per person for as long as you see fit. And if you at any point think that you need more or the contract is up, uh, let me know. But I'm giving you this because you are definitely gonna hire these men, correct? Oh yes. Uh... All right. I'd like to get the business up and up and running again. Okay, perfect. He so takes the money and the money, you know. Uh, pulls out a uh, uh, like a, a money pouch, um, puts it in there, and you see him also as he as he does. He pulls out a little piece of paper, dude, um, reaches dude, over. Don't and... worry about it. I already got it. Hang this bad boy up. Looking for, looking strong, for men strong men to, to carry log. Contact Harbin's brother. You can put you got a name, this. man. <laughs> Cross that whisper, man. Well, I first thought contact you... me, but what's on the bottom? Is this that his is phone a... number? Yeah, it's a take it's one a... phone number. Text. There's no te there's no <laughs> number on it though, dude. Well, it's just it's just a take one. Take Draw one a smiley face interest. on it, and then they can hand it. He, yeah. he like That's like apprehensively contract. like takes it out of your out of your hand and like sl sets it down on the on the corner of the desk. He like pulls the quill out of. Uh, out of Harbin's hand and like makes a little note on like it looks like a kind of like a little ledger and tucks it back in the, the coin purse and seals it up and he goes oh, I'll hang this up outside uh, right away and he towards, starts heading towards the door perfect you'll get inquiries in no time okay let's uh where else do we need to head out well Two. I'm gonna. Hey, uh, Mayor, what are you, uh, what are you up to over there, man? 
Oh, um, you know, just, uh, just some records, maintaining, maintaining some records, you know, for the, for the town. I suppose you guys are, I suppose you guys are here for the, for the, for the reward, huh? Yeah. I mean, we, we you know, <laughs> kind of, yeah, we did work for it. All right. He kind of reaches under the, the, the desk uh, that he's at. You hear this like. Um, like a couple of, and then this like as the drawer, this heavy drawer pulls out he pulls out his like a um a, whoa, whoa, a money whoa. pouch and pulls out what are you gonna pull out there I, mean, I, I assumed you you wanted the the gold that we that we you keep your gold like, in this drawer <laughs> <laughs> he like just as he like just stares at you at you he pulls out a stack of gold coins um sets it down like in front of you on the desk um another stack he pulls out five stacks of 20 gold you hear this like as he puts the the pouch down slides the the, the drawer closed you hear, you hear it as it grinds closed and you hear this uh thank you harbin uh, I take thank 20 you. gold and put it in my pocket. Yeah, I'll do the same. same All right. Here. Cool, cool. Uh, is there any? Is there anything else I can help you guys with? Why All do right. you seem so down today? I'm uh, just just busy. Hmm. All right, buddy. Got my eye on you. Oh, what, you are you what are you busy with? Uh. You know, maintaining the records for town. Oh, you need help with the records? Uh, I could, I could assist you. Well, I, th I think I got it un uh, under control. Oh, sure. Let me take a look at those books, and I'll just start walking over. <laughs> as you, as you like, get close, he just like piles the papers up in in front of him, and hmm. like puts it in, stacks them up. You know, I, that's all right. all right. I, I, I think I can handle it. I mean, it, it is it is my job. What are they records of? The, I mean, town finances. We're we're handing out. We've been handing out uh, several rewards recently, uh, as you as you well know. It's part of the, uh, the finances. We we collected those funds. It, it... Any any rewards to parties other than us? Uh, no. I mean, it's, it's been you guys. You're not paying the red brand, or weren't paying the red brands, or anything, right? Oh God, no. Sure. Oh, of take course I'm look, sure. We take a look at those records. Well, that's not not necessary. Uh, it's, it's official business, you know. I mean, you guys I are new in town, and I, and I appreciate the the, <laughs> the services you've done here, but uh. Uh oh, that's why. I I slam both my fists on his desk, as hard as I can, almost, you know, cracking the wood. Okay. Wes has his good days and his bad days. <laughs> <laughs> he felt good today, he said. Yeah. Last time, everyone deserves a second chance. Today, he's about to kick his ass for doing his job. Right, he, like, looks up at you, like, a little flustered. I'm, I'm sorry? Did, did I did I do something to offend you? Let's see those papers. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is official uh, Fandolin business, and... Uh... Yeah, we just saved Fandolin. And we appreciate the effort, the effort, and the the, the actions that you took, um, particularly ridding uh, ridding the town of of the the bandits and and reestablishing the trade routes. But uh, this is nothing to, to do with you. This is official town records. Hey, uh, Harbin. Speaking of town records, here I have this. Uh, I've got this deed here for the ownership of Crescender Manor. Do you know anything about this? Um. You, as you say that, you like are looking down and you see the edge of that of that D that's kind of like poking out the side um, of the stack um, of the things that he has because uh, he he looks up and he goes, uh, "Oh yes, uh, Hallie has stopped by early earlier this morning and and uh, dropped it off. She she made a, a fairly compelling argument. Um, are, are you are you really that interested in?" Uh, in that old rundown place, huh? 
Oh yeah, buddy. I'm gonna restore life to this place like no other has. Well, I mean, I suppose if 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 you're if you're that interested, um, who am I to stand in your way? It's it's quite a nice one right now, and I mean, he like pulls pulls the paper out. He goes, if I if I sign this, can you can you leave me to do my work in peace? For now. He like stops and turns and looks at at uh at Wesley. <laughs> I got my eye on you. <laughs> he kind of just like pulls the document out, sits it down, picks the quill up from where uh, uh, Tibur has left it, from where he made notes in his ledger, and inks it up, and signs the the bottom of the the page, um, and kind of pushes the document across the the way to you. Um, he says, uh, you can, you can hold on to that yourself or, I, uh, um, I can keep it here and, and, and get it delivered over to, to Halia. She, uh, she keeps the final records, um, or you could take it to her yourself. Mm, yeah. Why don't you give it to her for me? All right. You can, I, Puts it on the bottom of the stack, uh, but you do see it is uh, it is now signed, uh, Harbin Wester, Town Master. Nice. All right. All right, Harbin. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, uh, Harbin. You guys have a, a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too, man. You don't look so happy doing your job. Yeah, sorry about Wessel. It's got weird. <laughs> yeah, don't be so sketchy about doing your job. He kind of just like stutters between looking up at you and the pile of papers in front of him. All right, boys, we out of here. Sure. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Hey, Zubal. Looks like he's zoned out there for a second. Well, Is there. <laughs> Is there any way you want to um, go look for that woman you can never find? Uh, yes, we we tried last night, me and Wesley, oh, and uh, oh, oh. and we hadn't. Yeah, yes, I mentioned it a, a few times, but uh, you seemed uh, under the weather, to say the least. I was feeling great last night. Even better this morning. Hmm. I'm surprised you say that, but anyway, um, <laughs> <clears throat> if you. If you, I mean, I, I would love to look for her again, but as I said before, I, I think you'd want to get a jump on the day while we have the sunlight. I want to get a jump on Felpip. That's all I'm thinking about. Do you have a, a romantic relationship with Felpip that you think about him so much? Um, no. Just the fact that he wanted to kill me or have me dead. Just that. Just a little I mean, something. Okay. Are we looking for the uh, this black spider goblin ass hideout ass anyway? Yes, I, I. Yes, good good point. I, I do need to find that place immediately. Yeah, so I think we should maybe take care of that, and I bet he's on the way. Well, maybe even Felpip has some more information on the black yeah. spider. I bet he's on the way there. Anyone else have anything else in town, or do you guys want to do that? I mean, why we have our finances in order, I believe if you guys want to look for equipment while we're here, now would be the time. I could use a new dagger. We going shopping, bud? Oh, baby. Yeah. Is that, what, is that what you like to do? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Is there, a sh is there like a shop of some sort that sells like weaponry and armor and stuff? Um, You guys has stopped by there's a couple different um, shops in town uh barthens provisions where you initially dropped off your your quarry um of goods uh didn't really have many weapons to speak of there was a um more of a weapons place the lion shield coster where you also um stopped by to see lenine 
who I uh, believe gave you some some money in exchange for the information about uh, the the goods that you had um, seen in the uh, that cave. Yeah. And you guys also, I believe, uh, when you went in there, you you checked them both out. They they both had uh, pretty sparse shelves. Um, looks like the bandits have been knocking over a lot of the the incoming shipments to them. Okay. So I think if we want to get to where there's probably better things, we can head towards Thunder Tree. You think somebody will buy this? What the? Hey, what is how'd you get that? my? I'm, I'm sorry, Squibbs. How'd you get my staff? I just grabbed it from your back. What do you think he's gonna go for? You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna sell Zubal's staff? Wait, isn't this glass? That's staff? glass staff. Well, he kind of like shoots his magic through it now. I don't know. I just consider I it Zubal's. Can... All right. Oh. I mean, Zubal, if you want it, you can add it back. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Um, so, hell, where'd you say? Thunderdome? Thunderdome. Thunder Tree, it's back north. Uh, That's perfect. Triborg Trail is up there. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys, uh, heading north out of town? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sorry, out of character. Do we remember where the hell the castle is? Like that they said it was just north. They said right. That was you, north. But... Yeah, you have not. Said. You yeah. You haven't. I don't think you've really talked to anybody much about it. No, just just the people of the um, the red brands who yeah, didn't yeah, know where it was. It. Yep. And they just said north. Um, That's all they told us. We also yep. asked Meepo because it's a, I guess a yeah. goblin castle, yeah. and he said that he had, he had like sparse knowledge of the area but didn't know specifically where it yeah, was. Yeah he didn't really know where he knew it was north of town somewhere in the woods. Um I think other than that the only things that you guys have heard about from around the area is uh <clears throat> Myrna when you have to be saved um the woodcutter you know mentioned that there was a um a locket that was in Thunder Tree that was the only thing that she could think of to repay you. Um, but Thunder Tree's like overrun, right? By like undead or something? Didn't we? Didn't she tell us that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. She said that the town had emptied uh, a lot, years and years ago when it was overrun by the undead. Yes. And is that crazy jewel there that Wesley wants? Yeah. That. Oops. That's the. Uh, <laughs> that's the um, the necklace that and was then, in the alchemy yeah. shop that she told us and, about. And he and he for some reason thinks it's related to him. Yeah. I'm fr I'm from Thunder Tree. Yeah, so everything has to do with Thunder Tree is related to your family. Whoa, not necessarily. I like that one's in character and one's out of character. <laughs> All right, let's go north. Because uh, yeah, let's not delay. Worst case, you know, we're going. We're at least heading towards Thunder Tree, I guess. All right. Um, so it's a good, it's a good full two days. Um travel to get to thunder tree from here which you would you would know um uh, being from the area um so i i want to definitely check triborg trail if possible That's oh awesome. my god we heard, we heard we heard you we heard you i just dude. don't want to skip fast forward two days and i wake up in thunder tree it might happen dude well that's like i mean it you goes a little over. bit to the left there but yeah, yeah I mean, we only uh, went we only went halfway on the Tribor Trail before we went north through the woods to get to the yeah. logging camp. Yep. Yeah. So there's a whole that eastern portion of the Tribor Trail that we have not yet. Uh... Are we gonna go north and then west and then follow the high road? I assume. Yeah, I, I thought. I mean, so. either that or I mean, you can take um, paths along the the edges of the like these are the main roads. I mean, there are other paths that you can take to cut some time. Um, going along the edges of the the forest and stuff if you go to the high road and all the way up that way it's going to be over two days it took you a full two days to get here from neverwinter so yeah. it'll be even longer to, to go that way i think we cut through the forest i think we go up what is that coneyberry coney island <laughs> coneyberry is on the far right yeah in the north northeast yeah we don't know anything about that though do we no yeah um 
All right, is there any guards on this trail, especially like right where the road splits? Um, so you guys head out. I mean, I'm assuming you're leaving. Yeah. You're not stopping anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, so you head out um, late morning. Um, it is um, kind of an overcast day, a little misty. Uh, you make your way out of town along this the the. the the trail is, I mean, it's pretty, it's fairly well defined. It's, it is not quite as nice as the high road that you came out of Neverwinter on, but you've traveled this section of the Tribor Trail several times, um, and it is well established. Uh, it's not like it's difficult terrain for you to traverse. Um, it's a couple hours pass as you, uh, you make your way northward towards where the Tribor Trail intersects with this path. Um, there are um, a few farmers that you see out um, who are tending to fields on either side of the road, um, but it is mostly rolling rolling meadows and, and grasslands with, with so sporadic trees about. Um, you do come across uh, probably little little afternoon. Um, you see uh, what it looks like um, some sort of a, a humanoid shape um, lying uh, near the side of the road um, near like a thicket of trees and like some bushes and, and whatnot. Um, can I uh, yeah. can I approach fe that fellow? Um, oh, guy, guy approach fellow. <clears throat> as you, you walk up uh you see, uh, it, it looks like a man. Um, he's dressed in like black clothes, mostly um, like a black, long black overcoat. Uh, and he, he he hears you approaching, and all right, all right, all right, all right. Just uh, just keep your distance. We uh, we, we don't we don't want to fight or anything. We don't mean any harm. Um, he kind of like turns and, and looks back he you see as he picks up this like a black hat up off the ground and kind of just dusting it off as he puts it back on back on his head and he turns he goes you don't want no trouble then huh no no trouble i just have a question all right what kind of what kind of question um i'm not sure if you live under these trees or what but um i, was I don't wondering... live under these trees i've been traveling this road you ain't more than red coat fuckers, are you? Whoa, 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 whoa! I I was gonna ask you, maybe not the same thing, because that's presumptuous. But I was gonna ask you if you've seen any of the red brands on the Triborg Trail. You know, the trail um, that you say you travel. As you as you kind of like move forward, uh, you you see that he's actually like, um, like his face is pretty pretty scuffed up, and and he's he's bleeding out the corner of his mouth. Whoa, uh, you look a little beat up. Yeah, I seen some of them red coat guys. Is it? You think I just? You think I just? This just happened to me by accident? Uh oh. They, they beat you up. Yeah, it took everything I had. Oh. Um. Would you want? How to... many were there? Yeah. Good question, Squeebs. I don't know. There must have been three or four of them. You still have Where? your hand? Yeah, I got my hands. <laughs> Just making sure. Where are you traveling from and to? Well, uh, I was headed up to 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 Neverwinter. Um, he, he sees he's visibly trying to like gather his, gather himself, and he he pulls like a like a flask out from from his back pocket, and you see he tips it up. Ah, oh, piss! And he throws it on the ground, clatters there, empty. Uh, I was headed to Neverwinter, and and these fellers come along, and they just they fucking they took everything I had. Ooh. Where are you coming from, Bradley? Uh, from Coneyberry. Mm. What's Coneyberry like? Um, it's a right town, I guess. It's a uh, it's pretty new, pretty 
It did, did it, this whole area did a bunch of rebuilding towns, you know? I I coming along, I was looking for some work. They didn't they didn't seem like they had none there. I was headed back up to Neverwinter. Are you hurt? <laughs> I know I know you got robbed. He like but... spits on the ground. Um, and there's like this mat, like this wad of blood, um, and like you go, oh, one second, and he bends down. He he like picks up like the dirt from there, and you see him like he pulls out one of his teeth that he accidentally just spit on the ground. Ooh. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lay my hand on him. As you get close, if he kind of like he, if he lets me. He, he backs yeah. up a little bit. Hey, 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 keep your distance there, there, feller. Uh, hey, I just wanted to help you out. Um, I, I can make you feel a little bit better and uh, maybe heal some of those wounds you got. All right, all right. You deserve a second chance. <laughs> you mind if I lay my hand on you? <laughs> you you get up close to him. Um, where are you where are you touching him? <laughs> uh, just on just on the shoulder. He puts his hand like on your back, and then uh, I touch my holy symbol, and I'll I'll uh, heal him for for three. <laughs> he says, "Oh, that feels nice now, doesn't it?" You tell me. <laughs> it surely does. Well. Sexual attention here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going it's on. The least right? we could do. Sorry that well, you came across those, uh, uh, those those evil bandits. Yeah, I hope I never see any of them again. They they were headed out. They they left. They went the other way. They went they went towards Coney Barry. I gotta say. Okay, how long ago did hmm. you encounter him? I don't know. It's the fucker knocked me out. I don't even know how long ago it was. Okay. Little short little feller. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, he pulls out another flask and, and <laughs> goes to take a drink of it. For fuck's sake, and he like chips it over and it's just bone dry. Well, do you have any uh, interest in revenge? <laughs> I just I, I'm just gonna try to make it back to, to town. I just Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, Sir, you said you were looking for work, correct? <laughs> yeah, I was looking for some work. Uh, if you want to go to Fandolin, are you are you familiar with it? I mean, I I, I heard of that place. Okay. Uh, we've got a guy. I think there. them. Yeah, I think those 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 bandit guys. They were from Fandolin, or they coming from there. Okay. How did you know that? Did you hear? Did you hear them talk at all before you got punched? And knocked well, out? yeah. I mean, I was, I, I, I was sitting here by the trees, and and they weren't being quiet as, mm. they, as they as they come up the road. Any uh, any names did you hear by any chance? Um, gosh, I don't know, man. I heard them. I don't, I don't know if I heard no names. Hey, Whisper Mouse, is Felpip short? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be your guy. Uh, okay, so they were coming from Phandalin. That's wild, because we, we, we took all the, the red brands out of Phandalin. Yeah, they say uh, that they, they, uh, I, I just caught bits and pieces. They had been out doing their their evil deeds and and they they went back to back to to Fandolin and they said that they they run out of town or something they 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 couldn't be there anymore and they were headed they were headed the the, the short the short one he, he I did hear a name you know I did hear a name the short one he said he was going to find the the black spider he was going to go work for him oh hmm. Maybe and that was uh, hey towards guys, where you were coming from. Maybe the black spider's in Coneyberry. Very possible. I told you I just come from Coneyberry. I didn't hear anybody talking about no black spider there. Well, it's a name they like to keep under wraps, I presume. You know of any uh, any castles, any goblins 
Did you see anything like that along your, your trail? I ain't seen no castles. I'm a little confused. The guys that beat you up were coming from Phandalin and heading to Coneyberry to work for the Black Spider? Is that what you said? I don't know if they were headed to Coneyberry. I know they were headed that direction. If Coneyberry okay, is that direction. way and they were headed that way. I don't I don't know if they were going there or not. Understood. They're going to some Black Spider feller. Mm-hmm. Okay, what we were trying to say is Phandalin <clears throat> is now rid of Red Brands. So you're safe to go there. Why am I talking like you now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can um, <laughs> you can go to Phandalin and uh, go to the town hall there and... <laughs> stop! Oh, no, stop! I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, turn, wow, the voice, turn the voice changer off. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Turn, reset, so you can speak reset, normally, reset. real quick. Reset. Hello, hello. Check, check, check. Okay, Very all right. Good. Go, all right. We're good. We're good. We're okay. good. Um, so you can go to Fandolin and apply for a job. It's like a log, log, log hauling job. Go back you're and saying forth. This, you're noticing that, like. The blood's drying on his face some. Um, his face is, like, lightly, like, he's got, like, a pretty dense five o'clock shadow. His hair is white and gray. He's got a, a bushy mustache. Um, he looks relatively slender and, and pretty old. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're not the logging type. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could be carrying no logs around. Okay. Uh, them days may be behind me. Well... Thanks for the information. We have a job Wait, to get to. What's your name, sir? My name's Eugene Bartholomew. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. Jeez, Queen's laughing right in his face. Uh, What's your name, funny man? Uh, yeah, my name's Squeebles. I know it's not that great either, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Squeebles. Right. Squeebles, you got any... You got any of the... Any of the the libations on you? I'm seem to have run dry. I have dry bread on me. Is all I got, sir. Man, you should have saw the beer I had last night. Dude, what are you doing? I don't know. I can't. You're his long lost <laughs> brother, dude. <laughs> all right. Thanks for your help. We're gonna. We have a job to get to, and it involves taking care of those red brands. Well, all right, I suppose. Uh, I could really use a drink. Do they got good drink down there in Fandolin? They do. They do. Like I said, you got I any a recommendations beer. where I should head? The Sleeping Giant or the uh, Inn? The Sleeping Giant. Yeah, Rit, they, it is rid of red brands. Well, all right, maybe I'll head that way. They got good people down there. You said the bayonets are gone. Yeah, go. They're to, good. You could go to the Inn. You could talk to Traylina. You could tell them we sent you. I know and, this uh, guy's name is Squeebles. What's the rest of your names? Uh, Whisper Mouse, and this big fella over here is Wessel Eye Deadwater, and we got <laughs> dude, it's happening so slightly. Um, we got Hale Blackbraid, who's the dwarf. Well, all right, I'll tell you. I'll tell him that. that oh, and that Zubal, you sent Zubal. Me. Sorry, I was he was always in the back. He's so stoic. Yeah, this guy I, doesn't I don't move. It, I don't even Zubal. know. Zubal telling him our names is i don't know if he would even survive I'm gonna, this sir I, t tell him, i'm gonna give you two silver here and you can tell him that you know we sent you get yourself a drink and maybe a place to stay for the night well i appreciate and that there I are swear some shops opening up too so you could uh you could maybe find a gig at a at a you know one of the shops around town it's starting to starting to become more lively they got any weapon shops down there i like me some weapons they yeah, do. maybe open up open one up for yourself <laughs> Start your own damn shop. Here's two silver. Open up a shop. Well, all right. I hope they got good drink down there, and I'll, I'll head to, head on down to Fandolin. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you. See Eugene. you later. Godspeed. My friends call travels. me Bart. You guys can be my friends. Okay, Bart. Call you Bart. Yeah, my friends call me Bart. Bartholomew. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I'm just gonna start walking. Zubal, wait <laughs> up. Where are you going? We don't know where we're going yet. Come back. All right, Bart. Blessings. He turns and like you see these like kind of like picks up some some bags that he's got, uh, hitches them up, and starts to trudge down the road. 
<clears throat> well, Whisper Mouse, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling one, one type of way. Killing Red Brands. Let's head down this trail. So do you guys want to go there and kind of abandon Thunder Tree, or what's that? We'll get to Thunder Tree. Yeah. We'll head towards Coneyberry, uh... down the trail, hopefully find these scrawny red brands, take care of business, cut through the woods, and go to Thunder Tree. All right. You everyone cool with that? Zobal? Let's let's set these red brands straight. Doesn't sound like the most intelligent plan to go off the main roads, but sure if you're all with that. Black Raid, what about you, man? Yeah, I was sold as soon as he told us there was red brands to kill. Let's go. Alright, let's get going then. Let's go on get on get going man. <laughs> we we all right, just baby. slide the sudden. <laughs> <laughs> we all just become a <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's still nearby, like I can hear you making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Meepo's got a cowboy hat on, just cowboy. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are heading uh Change of plans. We're heading to the east, east now. We're heading oh, yeah, east. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, you make it. Uh, I mean, you start heading down the 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 Tribor Trail. It is, I mean, early afternoon. Um, still pretty overcast. Just kind of gray, misty skies. Um, but. The rest of the day passes. You don't really see anybody else on the trail. Um, it starts to get dark. The sun sets. You guys can continue traveling or pull off to the side and make camp for the night. It's up to you. Mm. How's everybody feeling? I think we feel fine. It's. Do we just want to... I mean, we can keep traveling at night. It is pretty dark. Uh, what's a lot you can see? Zubal, can your uh, ice away, 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 Alice? Uh, yeah, I, I believe I could send him out. Okay. He's got, he's got night vision. Uh, dark vision. Yes, yes, he does. I mean, we could just keep going, but they can lead. Sure, I'll send him out in front of us. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, Get out there as well. All right. You guys head up to the front. Uh, Iquis takes uh, takes flight up ahead of you guys. Um, are you watching through his eyes, or are you just communicating? Just communicating. Okay. Hey, if you want up. Because because we're because we're walking with him, right? Yeah. Because my body would be. Still, you guys would have to carry me, essentially, if I look to his eyes. Well, you could walk. You just couldn't see or hear anything. I'll hold your oh, hand. I thought, I thought I had it. I got oh your hand, God. Zubal. I'll okay. guide you. Grab my hand, right, Zubal. I'll, I'll guide you. Come on, okay. Zuby. Oh, can I use Meepo as a, a guide dog? A <laughs> seeing guide dog? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'll just keep my hand, my hand on top of his head. Okay. Uh... Uh, as you guys slowly walk, Ikuas flying ahead, overhead, looking down. Um, it is fairly, uh, very dark. I mean, as the sun sets and disappears, there's not much moonlight to speak of um, with the overcast skies. Um, Zobal, you see shades of gray through um, Ikuas' eyes, um, scanning the ground. Um, and eventually on the side of the road, you do see... Um, what appears to be um, a small uh, campfire um, burning, and several figures gathered around on this on the side. Can I make out at least if they're large or small? Or... Um, they seem to be um, typical humanoid size. They're not like gargantuan or anything like that. And how many? About. Um. Probably a handful. Okay, and then the last question: How, how about how? I meant uh, how far? 
from us. Uh, how far ahead of you guys are they? Yeah. Um, he is. How how far can Ikoist fly ahead of you and still can you see through uh, his eyes? I think it's. He's 120. 100 yeah. feet. Well, his eye, his vision is 120 feet. Uh, the telepathic thing is 100 feet. Okay, so oh. he's probably, probably about 100 and 150 feet ahead of you guys. Okay. And do, right, do we so know I'll... do we know what side of the road? Like, are they in the forest side, or? Um, they are on the forest side. Yeah, okay. they're not in the forest, but they are on that side of the road. Okay. Can I? I, I can look at this though, because I don't know. If, can I talk while concentrating through him? I don't know. If... You could probably come too if you wanted, and like. Yeah, and make him come yeah, back. You got the info. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, so with your. Yeah, I'll come back. Like it's an action to, I think to to go in and out of. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah. And maybe you could talk, but if you did, it would probably sound terrible because <laughs> you can't hear anything. So yeah, it'd just be like scream, just screaming. <laughs> yeah, you'd be yelling. <laughs> like when you have I don't want to do that in. right now. All right, so I'll uh, I'll come back and make uh, I could was come back and um, I'll say, gentlemen, about 150 feet of us is a campfire with a handful of figures. Can't make out exactly what they look like, but be prepared. You guys want to keep going? You know, they're resting. You guys want to keep going and see who they are or what they are? Yeah, maybe we could uh, introduce ourselves. See if they uh, see so, if they need anything. You know, wanted to maybe chit chat. <laughs> so what? So what's like you're just presuming that they are friendly? Why not? <laughs> okay, well, friendly, we have a friendly until proven evil. That's what well, I always say. We should have a backup plan, correct? I bet they have some uh, some red cloaks on them. Are we? Uh, is this like a wide open road? Is there any kind of terrain or wood around? Um, there is like parts of the uh, the uh, of the forest kind of like peaks out. Um, it's not just flat. There's like if you remember when we, when you guys came through and got ambushed by the goblins. There's several tiers of land. Um, so it's kind of places where it's uh, raised up uh, and, and they're kind of like it, it is tucked into the side of one of those like uh, like caved out sections so this several uh, um, there's some cover for them basically but there's it's not like it's just wide open hey do we still have those red cloaks No, yeah, I'm pretty sure we you burn, burned we burn them. them all? We I'm burned pretty sure you guys burned them. We burned them. Because yeah. we could have just thrown those on and just walked, you know, right over to a Coney Berry, but, you know, we, we decided we wanted to really destroy them, too, so. Yeah. Um, but if this is Felpip and crew, we want to kill them. Okay, do you want to sneak into the woods? You can't really see. I do want to sneak without... into the woods, yeah. Do we want to try to hide and make camp until the sun comes up? Otherwise, maybe we might lose them. We might lose how, them, yeah. yeah. How do we how do we fight without without some of you guys not being able to see? Well, well I can I can, I can make light. And if I'm we fight by the campfire, they can see. And I'm gonna okay. say, and I can always make light. I'm gonna take light. I also can make arrows light. Come right and I also can make light, and I take out my lantern, and I like makes a lot of loud <laughs> metal metal noises. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, well, uh, Whisper Mouse, do you want to sneak in into the woods, maybe around the left, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. left flank with Squeebles? Yes. Yeah, so you guys have please. light. I they, can't they, see they, they both can't see. Yeah, I'm well, yeah, maybe, and, well, I'm yeah, Squeebles and also uh, Hail. If you light, no, no, no lantern, no lantern. You're gonna be, you're gonna be a, a, gonna be a target. Just a five no, 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 no. Radius. They will, they will. Yeah, that's what you can see. They can see it from a lot farther yeah, away from that. Yeah, but what if they're sleeping? We don't know that yet. Hail, you can go with them. They're not sleeping, gentlemen. I think we should get a move on instead of discussing this in the open. I okay. Agree. I agree. We need a plan, plan though. We can't just walk in there. Well, what's last? All right. So you three, you three are are flanking to the left. Me and Zobal are um, gonna act lost, and like we're gonna go ask them for directions. If we see red cloaks, uh, Zo, Zo when you see Zobal's fireball, you know it's time to attack. All right. Sounds like Sounds a plan. Good. They won't recognize right. you. 
They'll recognize me they and won't, my they scar. Won't. I have and to we, and, you know, we we're just we just pretend like we're walking, you know, we're just taking a nice nightly stroll and uh Right? It's a good plan, Hale, you're I'll, the military guy. Any any thoughts? Well, I I think we should we should flank. Uh, you guys might want to be a little sneakier than just walking right up to them. Unless you're looking for a fight, because if they see two people walking, they're gonna try to rob you. I'm not scared. I got nothing to rob. I got like, what do I got? Gold? That doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, they, they don't know that until they've already killed you. So <laughs> they're gonna have to try pretty hard. Sure. So you ready? Uh, yeah. Sure, Westlife. I the plan I'll I'll try, but I will let you know if um, it is more than we can handle. I will not do a fireball. I will do a spell to get myself out of there. So I hope you have a backup plan as well. Wait, don't do that. We're going to be on the flank. Why are you going to leave your boy? We will be ready to flank. We could travel at the same time, just on different sides of them. One pace yeah, every I, I... half second, okay? Ready? When we'll, we'll meet, at the, we'll meet at the camp at the same time. <laughs> All right. Well, should we roll first, though? The so ones you, that are sneaking? Yeah, so I... You guys are heading down the road, Wesley and Zubal, is that right? Yeah, and then, um, <laughs> how, how far off the road is it? 60 feet? The campsite? Um, cool. It's not, it's probably, yeah, it's not very far. Probably 30 or 40 feet off the side. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll head up the road, and then the other guys will kind of start a flank. Um, and try to get to the campsite at the same time that we do or that they start interacting with us. All right. So uh, the three of you who are leaving the trail are trying to be quiet or are you all trying to be quiet? I mean, we'll, yeah, we're trying to be kind of quiet. If you're trying to be stealthy, I'm going to need you guys to roll stealth checks. All right. Here the I people go. flanking are definitely trying to be stealthy. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be I'm so about, bad. I'm about to roll a like six stealth checks. A disadvantage if you're wearing uh, heavy armor. Oh shit! <laughs> well, good. Wes is gonna give me away though. I, uh, I rolled a four. No, okay. okay. Well, I rolled a twenty. It what I rolled. Twenty-five. Okay. Of course. I oh, I can take my armor off, right? <laughs> what, dude? You can. No, to, to lose disadvantage. Horrible. Wait, Hale, minutes. you're wearing Hale, you're wearing heavy armor. Yeah. Maybe while you're in the woods, you just strip it down. No. No. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I rolled a 12 plus 4, so 16. Okay. 24, 16, and what did you get, Hale? Well, I rolled an 18, but then I had to roll again, and I rolled an 8. Okay. I got Ooh. a 20, just to let you know. 20 for, for Zobal. It doesn't matter, and, yeah. And uh, what about you, Wes? Uh, 4. Okay. <laughs> I'm, and I'm a ka -ching, ka -ching, Meepo, ka -ching. Meepo go I was going to say, I'm going to tell Meepo to walk directly behind me, so he's hidden. Meepo rolled in that one. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> reroll, reroll. Meepo's literally just saying his name over and over again. <laughs> he's, he's singing. He's marching behind me. Yeah, he's like, Meepo, so you guys head Meepo, down the road. Um, you're being <laughs> as cool. Like, Zobal, you make like no no sound at all. Like, your feet, as you as you place them down, just find the perfect spots where there's no like sticks or anything um, that's scuffing. Um, and. Oh, oh. Beside you, you just hear this every once in a while. It's like crunch, crunch, crunch. As, <laughs> as Wesley like drags his feet through the 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 any of the like, rocks and and whatnot. And and as soon as you hear that, you Meepo behind knows that you're trying to be quiet. So he hears this like loud noise. And he goes, "Be quiet." <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys make your way. Meanwhile, the the, the other three of you. Uh, Sneak off the road um, and flank along the side of the the forest um, as quietly as you can. Um, uh, you several times you have to you you climb up the side of a um, a small like um, not a cliff face but an exposed rock rock uh, face or a, or a steep incline um, until you are uh, on the back side of the camp um, overlooking in. Um, Hale, you have dark vision, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, roll a perception check for me. That is 
is an 18. Okay. Um, you see a wagon parked near the, the campfire um, up there. Um, and you can see uh, two figures who are leaned back against the wheels of the, the wagon facing the fire. Um, and a third who is who looks to be turned and facing out the other way towards um, Coneyberry. The other two of you, the halflings, you see you see the glow of the fire as you get close and you can see um, the figures there, but you can't tell anything. Like you can't see which way they're facing or anything. It's just kind of a dull glow up there for you guys. Meanwhile, the rest, the other two and Meepo make your way down the road. Um, you get probably almost probably about where the um, where the 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 landmass is extending towards the road a little bit where the cutout is, um, and you hear a very distinct "Stop where you are." <laughs> Here I am. Hands up. I'm just... We were just looking at the stars. Um... All right. Well... Slowly, you can make your way past us on the road. What does this guy look like? Who, who, who are we talking to? My name's... My name's Dalen. Dalen, do you need any help? Are you okay out here? Yeah, we'll be all right. All right. I mean, what, what does Dalen look like? Um, he looks like a, a human male. Um, probably... Oh, uh, probably in his mid to, to late 30s. Uh, he's got um, studded leather armor on um, and from as close as you guys are, you see him. Um, he is not seated, but like kind of down on one knee facing out towards you with a bow in front of him, an arrow knocked <clears throat> and drawn back. But he has no insignias or anything on him. I can make out symbols or anything. Um, roll a perception check. No red cloaks. Uh, 15. You. So that is perception. Uh, 16, it's 18. Um, you see a um, a small uh, from this distance, all you can see is almost like a like a coat of arms or a shield of some sort, um, okay. insignia. Um, you at, from this distance, using dark vision in the in the night, you can only see shades of gray. Yeah. Mm. So you have no idea. He has a cloak on. Okay. But you said Dylan. Uh, Dylan. <laughs> you said Dylan. Dylan, oh, friend. Dylan. Um, uh, excuse we my friend. You no harm. We were actually looking for uh, for one of our friends, Felpip. Uh, is oh, he with you guys? Have you seen him? Nobody named Felpip here. Okay. okay. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. What's your business passing on pa passing through here? Yeah, we were just looking at the stars, looking for red brands, that sort of thing. Um, you know the usual. You don't you don't work for those guys, right? No. What do you want with the red brands? Oh, we just wanted we wanted to. Uh, You're looking uh, to join up? No, we just we were wanting to chit chat. We're we're looking for. Um, honestly, to be honest, uh, I'm not a good liar. We want to kill him. Well, they're they're an evil force, and um, and uh, they've caused a lot of pain in in this I'm, area, as far as we know. And uh, yeah, we want it. We want to be done with it. I'm gonna put my hand on Meepo's chest and kind of slowly just back up. Okay, as so you back away from from Wesley in the in the center of the road, he says, um, "Well, that's a that's a noble cause, uh, but uh, I might have some bad news for you, friend." What's that? Where it is, the red brands are no more. Really? That's what we hear. Yeah, uh, 
have they have they changed their name? Nah, some group wiped them out. It sounded like. Yeah, I might know a little bit more about that. Um, do you mind if we, we we come and chat at your at your fire? What's your business again? Uh, wiping out red brands, which it seems like we've done pretty successfully. He sees the roll, uh, roll a persuasion check. Ten. <laughs> he says, "So you want to you you want to come talk or what?" Well, I just think we could collaborate, and uh, maybe you can give us some more info on where to find. It sounds like there was a couple left over, and we want to make sure that they, uh, they're they all gone. Uh, we also... Yeah. Just to clarify, he's... me, Hale, and Whisper Mouse, they, we're behind them, and they still don't know. Yeah, we're just chilling. Okay. They have no idea. Okay, great. Um, He's sitting there, still holding the bow at you. He turns over his shoulder, and he goes... Hey, we're coming over. There's three of them. And he, like, backs his way towards... He's he's moved away from the camp. He's he's moving back towards it. Still with his bow f towards you, but is backing away from you, uh, giving you room to move forward if you choose. Hey, uh, Zo, you want to send Ikawis to let the other guys know... What's going on? I, uh, that is a great idea, but uh, Akuis cannot uh, speak a language. All oh. he can do is try to pull them towards us. He doesn't. He can't do Morse code with his wings or anything like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know of owls that can know Morse code? I, I, I know of owls. That's that, him right anyway. now. I believe that's we him right now. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Please hold. Uh. Sure, why not? I mean, I'll, he'll try to just pull them in this direction. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to... Hmm. Well, I, I don't think we should be rude to our supposed new guests that you made us sit down and chat with at this moment. Um, hey, uh, Dylon? <laughs> Dylan. I think it was Dylan. You hear as he, he sighs. <laughs> It's Dalen. Dalen. Sorry about that. We, we've been traveling a while, Dalen. Uh, Dalen. Dalen. Um, apologies. Uh, yeah, we're just. I, uh, we're looking to maybe collaborate. Um, it seems like you're. You're also. Uh, you have the same enemy. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, we These don't red like brands. The, we didn't like the red brands, but it, it. From what I hear, they're 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 gone. They're done. And um, is, are you are you with the Lords? Road? Are you with the Lords Alliance? Uh, no, we're uh we're transporting some goods. Transporting some goods. Um, so you're keeping watch of this road, or you're just trying to travel? Well, we're traveling. We don't travel at night. Uh, it's a little strange. He says, looking over at you, to be traipsing through here in the middle of the night. Yeah, Most people go, um, to, go to sleep. Well, that, yeah, that, that was that been, was part of it. That is when evil is amok the most. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we um, I don't know. Maybe we can even potentially like help uh, with shifts through the night. Um, we, I don't think we'd be opposed to uh, camping out for the night. What reason do we have to trust you with our in our camp? You want uh, us to any... you want oh, you uh... want to you want us to what go to sleep and let you watch out for us? Well, 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 well I saw. I believe maybe uh, you, you mentioned the group that took out all the red brands, correct? Have you heard of a name Glass Staff? And I just take out the staff and I put it in front of me. I've heard the name in passing. Yes, well, this is his staff, and he is no more. I'm tired of So losing. you're glass staff, or what? No, I'm tired of losing <laughs> sleep at this time. 
We we got rid of all the red red brands in town. Can can Halo and I hear from here or no? Um, me, bits and pieces. Okay. I'm roll up. You can roll perception checks, both of you. All right. Twenty-four. You guys got some big old ears. <laughs> Damn, son. Uh, I got a twelve plus four, so sixteen. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you can he definitely hear the conversation. Um, maybe not every single word, but you have a pretty good idea. Uh, I mean, you can you can hear the conversation well enough to, to understand what's being said. Can I do a perception check to see if he was lying about? You can roll an insight check. Anything? Insight check, okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's a nine plus one, so ten. Um, I mean, it looks like they have a cart of goods with them, a wagon full of goods. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't have any reason to trust us, obviously. Um, but like I said, we uh, it seems like we we are both we both stand for good, and um, you know, there may be something some some piece of information that we could share with each other that would be helpful. It's just hard to it's just hard to see you from this far away. Well, I said you were coming over. Oh, sorry, I uh. I thought you were talking to one of your friends. Well, I told them that we were that I was bringing you over. <laughs> okay, here here we come. Here we come. <laughs> he keeps here the arrow come. trained on you as you walk. I'm just walking slowly. Okay, everything's good. Um, yeah, and then if I get close enough, can I make out any colors at this point? Um, yeah, you get close enough to the fire, you see. Um, there's three men. Um, they look well armored, um, leather, and and someone even has a chain shirt. Um, you see uh, swords, and and they they each are carrying um, like uh, small crossbows, and they have uh, long swords with them. Um, you come across, or you come up, as you approach, you see this wagon. Um, and can make out as you get close enough the insignia on the coat of arms um, that shows a blue lion. Oh, oh, oh shit! <clears throat> oh wait, the the lion shield coster. He, you guys he, are off to Fandolin. Well, uh, um, we were actually headed back to uh to Neverwinter, but um, we do frequent. Frequent Fandolin. Uh... Yeah, we um, we uh, we actually we saw a bunch of your gear. We 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 somehow me and my friend Zoe here found our way into a goblin cave. I know it sounds made up, and, and long story short, I've actually I recognize that symbol. We saw a bunch of your gear in that cave. Yes, and we, just... we'd be happy to we'd be happy to show you, you know, or draw you a map on if you ever wanted to reclaim that. Well, there was even um, there was even a list, a Westlaw, of everything that is in the cave. But well, let me check my bag. I go through and I take out the piece of paper with the blue line symbol on it, with the list of uh, all the goods. He uh, he looked like looks at the at the list. Um, he turns. Well, Falcon, I'll be damned. Remember the last time we got we got uh we got jacked? These guys found the stuff. Um he takes it and like walks over to the fire and shows them the 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 list like the 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 inventory list. Um turns it back to you as you as you as you, everything sinks in and he goes Where did you say you found it? We uh, we were looking we were, we were looking for one of our friends um, on our way down to Fandolin and we got ambushed. We fa followed some tracks. We followed some tracks. It led us to this cave. Um, we we found our friend in the cave, but we also uh, we kind of struck a deal with this goblin um, 
As you say, he kind of looks over and just is what? looking at Meepo as you as you start talking about the goblins. Yeah, Meepo, he didn't want to work for them anymore. What do you what? Wes? <clears throat> no. So anyway, we saw all this gear. Um, we Six took out. We took out. We took out this the 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 boss who I believe uh, ordered to steal all these goods. Um, we took him out. We didn't have the the capacity to take any of that gear, but I, I don't think it's going anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's still there. And like I said, we could we could show you where that is or draw you a map on where where that cave is. Um, just, just a little insight. They also work for the Black Spider. I don't know if you are aware of this group, but they are probably hoarding items for their army. Who's True. working for the Black Spider? The, the Seem like the second time I've heard that name in the last week. Well, the goblins and the red cloaks are both working for them. I thought you said there weren't no more red cloaks. Yes, I said they were. Excuse me, sir. I don't know if you understand the, the English language, but I said they were. <clears throat> they were. Well, all right. I can understand that. So the two of you took out the, the whole red brands. Oh, and no. your little goblin friend. No, that I well, oh, okay. <clears throat> He's, so, he, so hang on. You You're getting a little heated. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> they Dalen um we we are we were wow, approaching. I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth, okay? We were approaching. We saw the campfire. We actually have your campsite surrounded. Um <laughs> and uh, I saw back So <laughs> and, and only only because we weren't sure if you were these these red brands or not. And now that we know that you're friendly and that you work um for the for the uh the blue lion coster, blue shield, what is it? Yeah. What is yeah, it? What is that know. what is that crew you guys are? <laughs> the lion it. shield coster. He the said lion he shield coster. the lion on the shield. Yeah, the lion shield coster. Um now that we know that we like I said we 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 both share the same enemy. Um we don't mean you any harm. Actually, guys. Hey uh Bring it in. They, they, it seems like they, we have some. We have some. Um, some gold too. Maybe we can. We can purchase something off the. I don't have any off gold. The wagon. <laughs> you know, maybe we could do some business. We could. We could. Uh, we could. We could. Sorry, my back was a little cramped are you, up. Are you pooping in the woods? No. As soon as you sorry. stay. As soon as like they hear the movement behind them, they both like, all three of them spin around with arrows out. Like they're on. I mean, they're on edge. No, no, no. Like I said. No, no, no like I said. We don't. we don't. We don't mean you any harm. Yeah, hands up. We're not. We're Wait not trying man. to fight. I'm like three foot, man. I don't. I'm just. I'm good. And to tell you the truth, if you were red brands, you guys would have been dead by now. So. They slowly right. lower their arms. Yeah. Now run those pockets. <laughs> That's what Whistle Mouse is gonna do. <laughs> these are uh, these are my friends, uh, Squeebles, Whisper Mouse, and Hale. Hello, Blue Shield. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh. Hey, sorry. <laughs> That's something in my throat, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a bit of a, a bit of an awkward situation here. <laughs> so where are you guys? Where are you guys coming from? Oh, they. they... Uh, we're we're coming from Coneyberry. To Fandolin or what? Uh, no, no we. Right? We just dropped off a, um, we just dropped off a, a shipment uh, up at Coneyberry, and we're headed headed back to Neverwinter to 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 gather more more equipment to to bring. Uh, I'm not sure where our next delivery is going to be, although maybe we we might need to stop off in this goblin cave. Grab where, the lost uh, supplies. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that stuff. Yeah. Uh. On your way here, did you uh, you see any goblin castles? Or hear anything of uh, the black spider? Uh, I haven't seen any any uh, any castles in this area. We don't we don't get much off the road though. It's dangerous. It's been dangerous enough along the road to to look at going anywhere else. On the black spider thing. Yeah. Uh, just from the bandits that have been on the road until recently. Mm. <laughs> have you seen um, any bandits recently on this road? Like, in your last journey from Coneyberry? A uh, few... few weeks? Or a few days, maybe maybe a week ago, I, we saw somebody uh, 
small group of small group of 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 bandits yeah were they wearing red uh y- yeah okay you sound and like that was between here them. and Coneyberry. oh i'm definitely not protecting them it's just you know they 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 looked a little different than i remember i i, I mean they had red cloaks with them but uh, they didn't, I mean, they weren't like brandishing, you know, like they're, uh, part of the, the, the group. It sounds like the group's gone. I mean, oh yeah, they're gone. All right. But there's still, a I mean, they were, they over. were definitely, they definitely were, were part of the, the, the red brands at one point. Okay. Good there's, know. there's some loose ends that we need to tie up with the red brands. Well, did did you see him like in Coneyberry or outside of it or what's up? Well, they they passed us. <laughs> uh, they passed us. Uh, I mean, it was a probably about a week ago. Uh, we were on the way to Coneyberry. We stopped for the night. Very similar situation. You can understand why we were a little on edge tonight. Uh, they they came by in the dark, the cover of night. Sneaking up down the road, if that sounds familiar, as he like looks over you, um, tried to rob us. On the high road there, or what's that? On the Tribor Trail here. Oh, okay. Past you... Coneyberry? All right, listen, we came from Neverwinter, <laughs> all right? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I thought you said you were coming. Uh, all right. I- I'm sorry. I was. Uh... Yeah, yeah. We went to Coneyberry with our goods. Now we're headed back. Got it. They tried to pe- rob us along the way. And you made it out fine? Yeah, I mean, we're fairly well armored, as you can see. Did you take out any of them? Uh, No, we kind of kept to ourselves off the side of the road and held them off. They they, they came at us, fired several arrows. I think I hit one, some little little guy, a uh, little, uh, little, little gnome guy, a gnomish guy, I think. Got um, it. Okay, he just, he's not gonna he doesn't know that guy. Yeah, Whisper yeah, Mouse, we, we, we asked yeah, him about him already. Sure, Felpit. Whisper Mouse, please. I just, I said it under my breath, under my okay. breath. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I'm still saying Whisper Mouse, we asked him, please. Uh, uh, I'll say, I'll say, uh, Whisper Mouse, bless you. Oh, thank you, yes. <clears throat> so what do you think of the proposition that we, we can share camp with you tonight and then we can pursue the remaining red brands in the morning and you can make your way towards Neverwinter. And also that goblin cave. We'll trade, yeah, we'll trade, I mean, uh, you... we'll trade uh, assistance. We could share watch with you tonight. Uh, I wish I could tell you where to, where to go for the, for the, these leftover loose ends you're talking about, but uh, I don't, I, I don't know where the, where those guys mm-hmm. headed. Yeah, we met a guy on the way here, and he told us that he was headed towards this way, so that's why we're traveling this way. Yeah, duh, I mean, definitely, definitely saw some some uh, some bandits coming this way, but uh, I don't know where they went. Sorry, I could I wish I could help you more with that. How long ago? It must have been a week ago. Oh. Maybe yeah. we'll get lucky, and they'll come to us. Mm. Have you run into any boar-like creatures that seem to shape into humans? Some what now? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. And I just walk over to the fire and I take out my book. And I start studying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you don't have any any gear for sale, short swords or anything. I know you're delivering stuff, but you're you're not like a traveling marketplace, are you? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, I got a. I mean, we just have the weapons we've got on us at this point. We just unloaded up in Coneyberry. Okay. What was Coneyberry uh, like? I mean, it was an all right town, I guess. It seemed, uh, it seemed not much different than Fandolin, really. This is a strange question. You wouldn't be, uh, 
you wouldn't be opposed to selling this wagon to us, would you? <laughs> selling the gonna, wagon? What are we going to fill it with? Garlic bread? And we, I mean, we could even... <laughs> Well, here's the th here's the, guys. Hear me out. Listen, if we are traveling down the road with a wagon, or if I'm traveling down the road with a wagon, all of you guys are in the wagon. Red Brand see the wagon. They want to rob it. Little do they know. That's the squad. That's you? The squad is 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 pops out. It's the old Come on. Dope. The old rope a dope. They don't. They dope, you yeah. know. What's the chance that they that they're gonna approach us if they see you know all five of us, six of us with Meepo? On the road, they might not. They might not see anything that they want to rob. If they see a wagon, come on. Back in my red brand days, one man with one wagon—that was a gold mine. Are you saying this out loud, Christmas? Well, yeah. <laughs> We're just being honest. Wow, everyone's just I, so honest in this group. I now, appreciate. Huh? I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Whisper Mouse. I just oh think God, it's yeah. a good idea. Is this your second chance, Whisper Mouse? I like. It, it is. Yeah. What, what have we been doing this whole time? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I mean, you guys don't seem like you're up to, uh, I mean, you're on a noble quest, but I mean, I gotta, we, we gotta, this is, this isn't our cart. This is, this is the Lion Shield Coster's cart. I mean, what am I going to tell them? That you got robbed? Good point. Roll a roll a persuasion check. You guys can both roll since you're kind of tag teaming this. Terrible rolls tonight. Oh my god, it's off the desk. We, uh, we lost the map too. I don't know if you knew. Oh, that, oh that god, no. I posted okay. a new link in the. Thing. Oh, okay. I didn't see the link. Okay, um, so I rolled a I, four with a negative one, so that's a three. I rolled an eight. Nice. <laughs> I'm screaming at him. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I mean, I gotta take the cart back. I, I can't go back there empty-handed. We actually um, we, got, now we left. We left the it. cart in Fandolin. Eh, yeah. <laughs> we'll come up. We'll, we'll come up with another plan. Why don't we just scout like we've been doing, Wesley? How about we just go to sleep and worry about the next day? All right, I'll take first watch. I'll take first watch with Wesley. I'm gonna take first pee. And I'm gonna pee. So I'll be right back. <laughs> and rest. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I'm studying. All right. Sleep. Daylin is staying up with uh with you, the ones who are taking first watch. Um. Daylin. I'll have you guys roll perception checks for me. Dalen, Dalen, Dalen. Uh, ten. Okay. Maybe I'll, who else is staying up? Um, Whisper. I'm staying up. I rolled yeah, I think it's just... a sixteen, but I'm trying to see my perception. Oh, nothing. Okay. Yeah, sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys keep watch for the first first part of the night here. Um, it is dark again. No moonlight, hardly just piercing through the the mist, the the overhead um, clouds. Um, just kind of a dull glow in the sky. Um, as you sit there, Dalen says, "So, uh, you guys, uh, you guys, what took out took out all the red brands, huh?" We we really did. Hey, Dalen, have you ever met a guy named Bart? <laughs> I don't. Not any that stick out in my mind. Drunk, Why? Drunk old man with a gray beard, or say his full name. Say his full now, name. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of drunks uh, in these parts. Bartholomew. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, okay. But yeah, we killed all the red brands pretty much, except one very important one. Well, yeah, the group that you saw uh, over by Coneyberry. Um, what's what makes this uh this red brand so important to you? Well, since his campfires got me in some sort of mood, <laughs> I used to be a part of the red brands. He kind of looks over at you and 
Oh, there's you see oh. his hand. His hand grabbed the hilt of his don't, sword. It doesn't no, move. No, he just no. he, he just grabs it. Don't you worry about anything. They have betrayed so, me harder than anybody could be betrayed. They wanted me dead. It was betrayal at its finest. They left me coinless, toolless, and on the streets to fend for myself. I've grouped up yeah. with these fine fellows here to try to get my revenge. Yeah, Dalen, I, 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 I can empathize with how you're feeling. Uh, I felt the same way at times, and many of the group as well. Um, our buddy Hale here has a uh, passionate, burning hatred for the Red Brands, and it's been awkward at times with that, with, with you know, with the, with the with the two, you know, the two of them in the group specifically, but, um, yeah, my, my big thing is, is I think everybody, you know, Aww. uh, deserves a second chance, and, uh, I, you know, I'm really proud of Whisper Mouse for, for, for being honest with you, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it, sh it shows a lot about who he's becoming, um, and, uh, I'm trying. It's not easy for you don't me have to, to talk about. All I say is, Thank Tamora. Thank Tamora. Well, I can respect that. I tell you, I don't think you're going to find what you're looking for in Coneyberry. I, there's not much bandit activity up there. The road here has been has been strewn with bandits for as long as I can remember over the last several months, but uh, I haven't seen the... I haven't seen Coneyberry with the same... I've been to Fandolin, I'll tell you. Uh, we make deliveries there. Uh, I know the Red Brands had a very strong presence there. I, I have not seen that in other towns around here. What do you deliver? Weapons. Armor. Fandolin, Fandolin could use a shipment. Before we uh, came out here, we were looking to upgrade some of our gear. Yeah, we... Uh, I can put word in with the with the head branch back in, in Neverwinter and... and See if we can get another shipment sent out there. They're a little. They've been a little uh, wary of of sending more wares that way after the the debacle last time. Yeah, it's understood. Um, any so that I know they they kind of hang out on this trail. You saw them like a week or something ago. Um, any other word when you were in Coneyberry of of problematic towns or he sits there and leans back um you see his hand like uh kind of loosen and relax from the, the hilt of his sword where he's been where he's grabbed ever since uh whisper mouse mentioned that he was previously a red brand um says i haven't seen a i haven't seen a bandit present bandit presence in in and any of the towns around here was like they were in Fandolin. They were they were dug in pretty good down there. Um, Do you think they could just be out in this forest, hiding away? I mean, they could be. I guess uh, the the group we saw they said they were they said they were done. They said they were they were done. I think I, we. We held them off, you know. We we kept them at a distance. It was hard. I didn't really, I didn't hear super well what they were what they were plan was. Obviously, they they weren't like yelling, but done done with what the red brands? Not done. They two of the guys, two of them, they wanted to fight. They wanted to take us on. The little guy said he he didn't he didn't seem like he he was too interested. He said. He's a coward. Forget, forget these guys. Let's just go to the Black Spider. And they, and then they ran this way, that way. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. You and Hale are asleep. You were peeing in your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> you know, I, I know this is not on uh, in character, but the first thing I heard when I opened my door was, you know, everyone deserves a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to so say, funny. dude, he, he's got to get it out once, one time a session. <laughs> so funny, dude. Listen, he he grabbed his sword. He was going to try to attack my man Whispermouth over yeah, there. Yeah, great timing. Uh, 
To be honest, they they uh, I don't think they stuck to the road. They 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 took off out in the out into the wilderness. They, uh, the little guy seemed like he knew where he was going. And then you're talking about north into the wo- into these woods behind. No, us? they went. They headed. They had, they were headed south towards the mountains down there. Huh. That's good info. Thank you for that. Oh my god, I'm gonna slam my book. Gentlemen, please. Some of us are trying to study. Oh, you're studying over there? I didn't get yeah. know that. Yeah, I only need to sleep for one time. One oh, rest. Okay. Um the conversation kind of fizzles out for long. Uh Falcon walks over. Uh says I'll take the next watch, Dalen. Um, and Dalen heads back to to catch some shut eye. Um, who was taking second watch for you guys? I can do it. Yeah, I'll take it too. Okay. Can I, you guys roll perception checks for me. I sleep. I'm gonna go sleep too. I sleep. Nine. Oh shit. Uh, mine's also nine. Five plus four. Uh, so you guys are are sitting there. Um, you don't move super far away. Um, an hour passes. Another hour passes. Before long. you're both being shaken awake by uh, a short um, bearded man. Um, He says, wow, thanks for keeping watch, guys. I'll take it from here. And he, like, plops down on the ground between you um, and says, why don't you go sleep by the fire? Nice. Don't gotta tell me twice, buddy. (laughs) it's just a couple hours later that the you see the sun begin to to peek over the the horizon um and in the early morning of another gray day you guys uh wake safe um on the side of the the tribor trail here Good morning, good laughing. morning, good morning. You wake up clapping? Morning, I wake up. I, I wake you up, just okay. Sit, up. <laughs> <laughs> another That's beautiful actually... day. It's another second chance. <laughs> Have you ever slept in the wilderness? Do you uh, know how exciting no, it is I, to I, wake I, up I, safe with I the prefer, with... I prefer not to sleep in the wilderness, by the way, if that is the question you were asking me. It's exciting. It's a new day. I, I do not think so, but carry on. Every new day is like a second chance, really. Yeah, that, I mean, that should be a know. slogan, dude. Your slogan should yes. be, today is yesterday's <laughs> second chance. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh my Thanks God. be to Tamara for oh today. My oh my God. Huh? Oh Wait, you believe right? in Tamara too? No, no, that's, in his, Tamara? that's his slogan. That's his slogan. <laughs> oh, that's, like, like, that's who Whisper Mouse's slogan? Yeah. I like, I like mine better. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, whatever. Today is yesterday's second chance. I mean, it was good, Wes, but I thought it was yours for a second. All right, uh, uh, Dalen, Falcon, the other guys, I don't catch your names. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Appreciate the info. Appreciate the, uh, the camp. Hey, what kind of uh, bow is that? <laughs> okay, well, now we're running the pockets. Who are you, who are you talking to? Um, the guy holding the bow. Um... Well, I mean, they like the full bow. Yeah. Uh, Dalen, he turns it over in his hand. Oh, this is a just a standard long bow. Hmm. Where'd you get it? <laughs> like looks at the the the, the shield insignia <laughs> on his <laughs> holding his cloak uh, and looks back at you. Know, you. The company I went with. Have you guys like, not been listening to anything? <laughs> it's a. Standard issue from the the Lion Shield. He says he as he taps the the logo on his on his uh, uh, chest. Just with someone with so much gear, I thought maybe you had a special bow. 
Which I mean, we talked to these guys all night, right? Like, <laughs> let's get them move on. Yeah. yeah. A again, uh, hopefully we we cross paths again. All right, uh, see you later. Uh, <laughs> Please, if you can, send word that Fanolin needs gear and that the the path is is uh, is cleared up and, and shouldn't shouldn't give you any trouble. By the way, uh, Zobal, you want to maybe draw him a map? I know you got extra paper in the in that in that bag of the uh, oh, Goblin I'm, Cave. I'm, I'm sorry, draw him a map for for what now? The they, location they of the Goblin Cave. They okay. That's. That's just where it was on the on the road and I think it was right right when the right when the yeah, tribal Fandolin. trail breaks off of the of the high road it's west it's west of Fandolin. That is what you need to know uh all right they said they've <laughs> they're like wrong. they're uh they're already getting loaded up in their in their empty wagon at this point and as you as you're finishing d telling them this west all right guys uh well, thanks for for cleaning up the the road around here. Uh, safe travels. And they hey, head hey off. you too. Yeah. Wait, and if you're going in that cave, man, there's some goblins. All right, so just you know, go prepared. I don't want them to go in empty handed. <laughs> Understood. And they ride off to the to the east or to the west, rather. <laughs> they run off to the east for a second and then turn around. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> he turns the map around. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, what? Um, yeah, let's get a move on, gentlemen. Um, Are we going south towards the mountains or what? Oh, Nito Burrito. Do you have to roll by any chance? For, are you, for your, what were you studying? I was trying to finish that spell. To get oh, it over. yeah, you wouldn't roll an Arcana check for me. That was a long rest? Yeah. I rolled a 12, so that is 517. Um, you have deciphered, um, you've deciphered what the, what the, what the components are and everything of how to cast the spell. Okay. Um, now, I mean, I don't, for, to be able to use it, you would need to copy it into your own. Yeah with with high quality magical inks and stuff like that but you do you have determined and, and figured it out if i wanted to though i could use this book right like if i lost my spell book i could use this book so you could transfer back and forth or no i don't know i'll okay. have to look all right i'll never i never uh looked at that all right all right i'm good all right, which direction are we heading? Do we want to chase these yeah, apparent red brands into the mountains? Well, right. Yeah. I mean, we're close. that's all I want to do. And oh, if we're going to the the black spider, that's where we want to go, right? So we mm -hmm. mountain. We gotta yeah. go so south they, into they the mountains. South. So we're going like the ice. That that ice. Yeah, the mountains are south. Like uh, you could see like the cracks. Like those are mountains. I see a peak up there. Zobal, do you see that? It's like an icy peak. Wait, it's like in the fucking distance. miles away. Dude, you see that far? <laughs> oh a, my god, wait, it's wait, wait, a man. fucking goddamn mountain. <laughs> you could see over these trees? <laughs> Whisper out, dude. Oh, it's a short dude. joke. Okay. 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 Oh, you didn't get that the first Okay, gotcha. You didn't get that the first time? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll have Ikuiz pick you up. Bring you over the. <sighs> Alright, let's head south. We need to find Fel Pip once and for all. Okay, where are you? Where are you headed? Anywhere, wherever he is. Towards the mountains. I mean, why do we think the mountains? Are? The man said they went south. Said southish. I mean, do you think they might be kind of by Coneyberry? South. Yeah, that's Batman? where they. That's where they got robbed, and they and they went and they went south right south of Coneyberry. It sounded like. But to get away from them. Well, the our, our friends with the uh, with the lion shield. Um, yes, I, I uh, wasn't fending them off. What they said. Well, no, well, they fended them off, and they and they yeah. They weren't super specific, man, because they said they came from Neverwinter to Coneyberry, right? That's a, such a huge pet. And then they said, during that they got in it with them, and then now they're on their way back, and they haven't had any, right? That's yeah, they correct. Said, right? So yeah, I mean, we don't really know. I mean, we know it's north of Fandolin, but like, so is the entire world, basically. So 
We don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we go to Coneyberry, see if there's any people could hear about information. Something. Yeah. Maybe we can catch a red brand, catching, getting a drink. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, I don't think they're openly walking around with the red cloaks on. Do you? Probably not. But do you want to? Um, you want to climb Mount Everest and uh, like, see, see if we Which stumble, see if we stumble it, into so a secret hideout. What's Mount Everest? <laughs> you know, uh, it's a nice, south of the nice Sword D &D Mountains. Joke. I like that. All right, so we're so we're going to Coneyberry. I'm assuming. Uh, I mean, I'm cool with it. What do you guys think? Yeah, we can ask around there, see if anyone has any information instead of just blindly going into the mountains. <laughs> Anything that gets my dagger closer to Fell Pip's throat. <laughs> so edgy. <laughs> just like my dagger. Oh, two mm. two edges. Two. Yep. Mm. All right, <laughs> off we go. <laughs> so all the time asking these people questions are wasted. What are you talking about? <laughs> we got no information out of them, correct? Well, we I do. Know. We we know that the bandits we got to sleep towards the mountains, so we can go to Coneyberry and see if anyone knows anything about what's in the mountains that they could be going towards. Yeah. Blackbraid is very wise. Very wise. Also, right. side note, we have this map of the nearby area, or this is just for our reference? No, I, I think this no you don't have this map. This is just for, like, showing... <laughs> so we don't even know. We're like, oh, let's go to Ice Fire Peak. Oh, no, we'll no, stop no, by the old, say... old Owl Well. No, I'm you saying that. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking, like, yeah. I said, hey, you know... ball, look at that peak. It looks pretty icy. Uh... You guys know the area in general. Like, you know of... of yeah, I grew up uh, in Fandolin. Right. Fandolin, you know of... Neverwinter, or some of you are familiar with Thunder Tree, or um, cities that are around. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha, guys. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't know if Zobo had this map in the stack of his paperwork. No. Well, I know everything. Whatever Nick says, it doesn't matter. I know everything. It says <laughs> in my character sheet. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa everything. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take go. it to the damn castle then. <laughs> let's let's make haste, gentlemen. Right. Coney There's a lot Coney of evil in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coney Bear. All right, so you guys head off on the road in the morning. Um, it is a full day of travel to get this far along along the Tribor Trail again. The years are going quite a ways. Um, near the uh, the end of this of this day, um, you start approaching um, a town. It is uh, in in a similar vein to Fandolin, where it is looks to be um, built on the ruins of a previous town. Um, there are structures that have been broken down to their very foundations and, and other buildings reconstructed in the, the, the holes of the uh, um, of those buildings. Um, and the, the streets are even less developed here than they all were in in Fandolin. It is more of a rundown place. It has not experienced the, the regrowth and the the rebuilding to the same degree that uh, that Fandolin has. Um, you pull in, um, there's a scattering of houses along the edges of town. Um, a main a main street thoroughfare which is not much more than the path that you've taken this whole way. Um, there are several, a, a few buildings um, that look more than to be more than just houses. Um, one of them um, is a crudely drawn uh, sign of uh, like a dancing figure, um, a humanoid figure that's dancing on a like a a dangling wooden sign. Can I do a religion? Is that anything that has to do with religion? Can I do a religion check or arcana or anything? Or no? It's just a, it looks to be a, 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 like a business of type. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of businesses in this area. It's it's very fledgling town. It's very newly um, being rebuilt. And this is the only place really that has any signs of life at all. Gotcha. Uh, uh, during our travels, did we see any any like easier paths to the south through the mountains or was it like all treacherous 
Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's treacherous. These are um, the foothills on, on, the, on the sides of the mountain. It's not like it's just a just straight up into like the jagged okay. mountains. It's it's the 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 foothills before the mountain range. Um, gotcha. The sword mountains down there. Can we knock on the door of this business? Uh, yeah. Um. Hello. You 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 knock. Um, it's. You can you can hear some uh, some music on the inside. It is. It is off key. It is not. Um, it's not good music by any means. Um, but there is. And then you can hear uh, not a crowd, but but um, voices inside. Um, uh, there's a like a, a an an old elderly elf who opens the door with this like questioning look on on his face. Um, uh, uh, hello. Uh, Hi. He like flings the door open and then goes back to to sitting down at a at a at a table, um, in this hey. tap room of sorts. It's pretty mild or pretty uh, sparsely populated with only a few handful of people, um, and this terrible music and and uh, a makeshift bar that doesn't really have a whole lot. Hey. Um, my name's Whispermouse. Uh, we come in peace, me and my friends from Fandolin. Um, I like your music. It's bopping pretty hard in here. Um, we were just wondering if you saw any red brands come through your town here at Coneyberry. He, he, he like, stops what he's doing and, and, like, puts his drink back down. He just has got up and, and lets you in. He turns and, um... Uh, welcome to to Coneyberry, I, I guess. I don't, you're, I don't recognize any of you. Um, yeah, we're not from here. We we're just stopping by. We we mean no harm. I'm from Fanlin. Well, we got some people from Thunder Tree, you know. Well, by all means, uh, grab a drink from the bar. Uh, have a seat. Uh, listen to the music. Yeah, it's, can uh, you turn it up? It's a little low. He like looks over to this like scraggly looking guy who's on stage playing a lute. Oh, I guess you don't like have volume. singing, <laughs> <laughs> singing, singing off key. Is it open mic night? Can my friend yes. Squeebles? <laughs> yeah, Squeebles. I was gonna say, you know, this could be your, this could be your big break. He just stops traveling with us. He hits it so big. Oh, you're muted. Oh, he's muted. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh, stage fright. It's okay, Squeebs. I'm a, I'm a seasoned entertainer. I don't. This guy's doing his best, right? Let's just let him. Let's let him. Oh, do yeah. Oh, the shade. <laughs> um, his best. I mean, like, we don't get uh we don't get a lot of people in town. Uh, I've heard of these red brands. Uh, I, I wouldn't know if I, if I had seen one to be honest with you. Do you think there's anybody that we can ask in Coneyberry that might have some more information? Maybe more of the traveler type? More, um, more familiar, maybe, with the red brands? Or, and... or has anyone mentioned a castle that they've seen along their travels? I'll tell you, if, uh, if there's anybody that's, that's seen the castle and they, they haven't talked to me about it, you know, there's a this crazy guy. There's a crazy guy out in the woods. Uh, he kind of knows, kind of knows everything about the Bart? whole area. Are you talking about Bart Bartholomew? Oh my God, Bart, dude, get this guy out of your head, dude. He kind of like turns and like looks at you. He's probably been in here. He loves alcohol. Yeah, I know Bart. Yeah. Well, I don't know Bart. I met Bart. Is that the guy you're talking about? No. That guy's not worth his weight in salt. Yeah. Oh, he's got two silver now. <laughs> well, he had That's two right. silver. When did you give him? You gave him. You gave him two silver. When? Oh, I, I would not be that dumb. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> before my friend said that, uh, I'm not dumb, but I gave him two silver. He seemed like a nice guy. Well, he's probably drank his way through that in the first first fifteen minutes he had it. Anyway, no. There's a guy 
He stops in, stops in town every once in a while. Uh, real nature-y type. Uh, I don't think he, I don't think he bathes much. Um, he stops in, but he knows everything. He knows the whole area. If there's a castle around here, he knows where it is. When's the last time you saw him? Uh, it's been a while. Um, last I heard, he was making camp up in Thunder Tree. He's kind of exploring the area. What's his name? Uh, Rydoth. What? What? Ride off in the sunset? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was just a little joke. Ride off. Okay, so he's up at Thunder Tree. Yeah, ride off. He's uh he's one of the nature types. Do you do you kinda th- stinks a little bit. Mm. Do you think it's worth our time to go all the way up there? I mean if you're looking for some place that, that you can't find on a map, he'll know where it's at. Alright, gentlemen, I think our time is up here. Hey, quick stop. We out of here, Coney Berry. I did like Coney Berry. This place fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you guys, are you guys sitting, like, just standing here saying that to him? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, leaving. Under my breath. Under my we're breath. talking between ourselves. Yeah. Meepo, Meepo, okay. grab the things. We're leaving. As you guys head out the door, the guy, like, says, he, like, calls him over his shoulder, good riddance. Because he've insulted his town. I'm gonna leave. One, I'm gonna leave one of these before I get out the door. Just, I'll keep it with you. <laughs> How's that for a performance? Yeah. I've heard all day. Here's your open mic. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, good. Guys, are we, just, are we going to Thunder Tree then, or what's up? Yeah, we're going to Thunder Tree. All right. That was a long travel to that. That's really wow. It was a shitty detour. <laughs> I think we should tag up this town, dude. Screw, screw this town. Wow. Yeah, I like Coneyberry. Feels like a so future you guys, home from. Are you making your way? You're gonna go all the way back down through the. Um... It's probably through the woods, right? I mean, I don't know. I thought the you guys. I mean, I mean, we could just uh, uh, investigate the foothills, see if there's any trails or or tracks. The foothill. Yeah, just south of us, south of uh, Coneyberry, we got yeah, those. Yeah, foothills we... we passed on the way to Coneyberry. Yeah, the, the, the direction that the uh, that the Red Brands r- retreated to. We can try, but I don't know anything about this area. We don't know what's in those foothills. Wes, we can get your uh, we can get your uh, necklace, dude. And we could find the black spider. So win win. The. Uh... Yeah, I mean, do we want to go north and see if we could... I mean, I, I think the I... conversation now is we're not going to catch these red brands that Wispmouse is hunting if we go up to Thunder Tree, but at least if we get the Thunder Tree, we'll know where the castle is, correct? It's either whether we hunt the red brands now or we try to find out information about the castle at Thunder Tree. And the red brands could be at the castle. Yeah, so do we want to cut them off beforehand? That is what I'm asking. Yeah, I mean, but... it was about a week ago. They're, they're most likely... Yeah. Are, are not there. Yeah. All right. Does that, does that on the tree then, or what's up? I, I, yeah. Do we want to want to cut through the woods? Maybe stop at the logging camp. I got some tools. We could build a boat. Take the river to Thunder Tree. Wow. Uh, I, don't goes, I don't think the river uh, goes that way. How much time do you think we have? Yeah. We got. How, go. how quick can you build a boat? Wait, if a you raft, think, a couple if planks. If you're so good at carpentry, why don't you build the damn cart you want? I don't have any lumber. So why are we, how are we going to build a boat? We're in a forest. We'll go to the lumber camp. Oh, oh Jesus. Boys, can we just move? Do you guys want to go through the woods or not? Sure, whatever the fastest uh, route is, Anything I guess. To kill I still have PTSD it. from the last time we just went through the woods. Yeah, you That's want to true. see another boar? Yeah, you're sorry, I mean, we can go around if Wait, you guys Wait, what boar? What boar? The one I stabbed from behind in the neck? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. The one you took. Mm, you, yeah. The one you took an hour to finally attack? Is that the one you're talking about? The one I saved everybody from, yeah, that is the one. Oh, the, oh which one is the one Save? that we all, the, all, the, the one we're that we all heard. dead? Well, yeah, that's that's I was fine, a little late fast. on the draw, but boys, through right. the woods or around them. <laughs> Let's go through the woods. It's faster. Through the woods. All right. So, um, who's taking the lead? Me. I will. 
Oh, okay. Oh, Two of you together. <laughs> so you, roll, so you guys will roll survival checks for me. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'll go. I'll go oh. behind them. Oh, Squeebs, when I remember, can you please uh, touch up uh, Meepo's makeup? Mm, I could give it a I've shot. An yeah. Eighteen survival. Okay. Seven. Um. So you guys head off into the woods. Um. Being familiar with the region enough, um, you're fairly confident you are headed in the right direction. Um, it is getting very late. I mean, you were getting to Coneyberry at, at sundown oh. as you head off into the woods. Um, the, it, I mean, it, the sun sets. It is dark. You are in the 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 woods. It is the the moonlight is not piercing through the forest, the canopy above you. It is a it is a dense night. Guys, I forgot how late it was. Huh? <laughs> you guys want to go back to Coneyberry and sleep, or what's up? <laughs> no, no, no. I got we got some wood. Guys, go pick up some twigs. I got a uh, tinder box here in my backpack. Just, what do we even need a fire for? Let's just start go, a campfire. Just go to sleep. Let's get some light on the subject. We'll take we'll take turns going to sleep. I mean, we've probably only been traveling for 30 minutes, man. We can just go back. Well, you guys set off. It's been a little while. Yeah, I mean, the, you guys set off at, like, in the evening. You're a couple hours into the... We're in, All right, we're in the thick of it. All right, I mean, yeah. Let's start a yeah. little campfire. All right. I feel like a campfire can, can uh, bring unwanted attention. Okay, let's sleep in the dark. Is it... it is it, uh, is yes, it that, uh... exact, exactly. Thank you, Whisper Mouse. You're using logic now. That was sarcasm. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> so what are we doing? Um, I, and and I, I, I could, I could, camp. I'm not helping. I could stay up. I could stay up. Um, I feel pretty rested, and uh, I could see, you know, somewhat uh, a distance around us. Zoe, okay. maybe you could send. Uh, your owl up as a as a lookout sure that is not a problem so are you i think they're starting a campfire though i think I i'm know. not taking part in it we don't need a campfire the, is it cold you one of the, aren't you one of the blind people Oops. yeah but i'm i'm about to sleep. I, I need to see when i'm <laughs> sleeping i'm going to sleep <laughs> Oh no, well, with the mask, I think that's, well, that's whatever. why that's his whole I'll sleep then. But you guys gotta take okay. all the watches, because you guys are the only ones that can see in the dark. And black brain. So, one person to watch each? Is you're that what you're like... saying? It's either that or a campfire. I, I, I think the risk reward for a campfire is not, not worth it. We can have... Uh, does your owl need to sleep, Zo? Yes, like any living creature, Wesley, he needs to sleep, yes. I mean, but owls are awake at the night, aren't they? Uh, yes, but uh, during our travels, he's usually awake with us, so... He, he sleeps yeah. when I sleep. Okay. And you don't really need that much sleep either, do you? No, that is correct. Even though maybe it would cheer you up a little bit. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. All right. We ready, ready to... Uh... Our blood is on you your guys... holy hands. Good night. Holy Make your way into the into a, a, a small clearing on the side of a, like a path that you found going through the woods here. Um, you all lay down, pull your 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 uh, bedrolls out um, in the dark of night, um, and lay down to go to sleep. Who's taking the first watch? So Me. I can take I can take two watches to. Do we want me to take the first one and the last one? What do you guys want? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. So roll a perception check for me, Zobal. Uh, I rolled a 15, 3, 6, 7, 8, 18. Okay. Um, you're sitting here in the in the group in the dark everybody's around you um bedded down um are you f focused only on looking out or are you reading a book too or what well meepo's up with me okay so 
I, I would probably have him and the owl more alert than I would, and I'm trying to study the the scrolls that I've left over. Okay, so Meepo is looking around. Um, about an hour after you sat there, as you as you're studying, as you've hastily made camp, you hear Meepo saying, oh, "Sticky," and you look over, and um, he has this like sticky white substance that's like stringing between his hands. No, jerking off. As he's <laughs> yeah, people, what are you doing, doing? As he sits there and like just rubs it on his he rubs it on his on his clothes. Meepo. What, what, what are you doing? What is um, that? And um, Meepo looks at you and he goes Shh. And you start to hear this Mm. Sound. So, can I try to do a knowledge check to know what makes that type of sound? Or uh, you can roll a nature check. <laughs> roll the sixteen plus. Do I have nature? Uh, oh, three. Okay, nineteen. Oh shit! <laughs> um, based on the uh, the sticky white substance that you saw and the sound, you are pretty confident um, that it is the sound of a uh, maybe larger than average uh, spider. I don't know who's the closest to me in camp, but I'm gonna try to go nice and slow over to them and wake them up. Um, I wish I could see. Uh, hang on. Oh, it's not it. Oh, we're in the bar, boys. <laughs> this is me. This yeah, is this me is... in my dream. <laughs> <laughs> this is right in the forest. There, sick. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, this is spooky. Whoa. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he was ready, ready. Imagine, so... imagine if we had a fire. <laughs> we wouldn't oh, be able to see We've been yeah, dead. Yeah. We've been dead by now, dude. No. So you're surrounded on both sides by... Uh... The two blind people? Squeebles. <laughs> dude, is this for real? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Tell me to look at me, and I'm gonna point at Hale. Okay. And and I'm gonna to go to Westlock. Try to get over them as quietly as I can. Quick. All right, up. roll stealth check, and I'll have Meepo do the same. <laughs> Fucking nat twenty. Wow. Oh, and I rolled an eighteen. Oh, creeping. Sneaky me. All right. Sneaky so meeps. you guys, as sneakily as possible, cross this little area of the camp, and Meepo looks over at you as he gets. Um, gets there and just like looks at you. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on West Lie. I'm gonna shake him. <laughs> and this what? is he, he grabs what? Hale and just starts shaking him, <laughs> like just mimicking exactly what. Uh, and I give him two thumbs up. So Paul says, and he looks back and goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as soon as he starts shaking me, I look up and see him, and I immediately like grab his throat. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Why are you waking me? He just he points over at, at Zoball, and I'll look at Zoball. In the quiet, so... as as you look over, <laughs> Zoball's mimicking. You hear this sound. So now that we're both waking waking up, can we see a further well, gonna, radius? If Wes is woken up, I'm going to tell him the spiders. Yeah, I, I I wake up and I'm like what, what? and then I know I see that it's like still dark and um. That like there's no sound, so I just kind of quiet. You start to notice over. around you, in your haste to make camp, that you didn't notice before, as you bickered your way into this clearing. Um, strings of large spider webs that are sticking out around you. Mm. Should have inspected that shit. <clears throat> can I make a perception check to see if I can see where the sounds are coming from? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you roll perception high enough to know that okay. they are coming know. from 
um, right now from behind you. Okay. Like off into the north uh, west. So I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say Westlai really quiet. Westlai, we need to get up the half lane before they are taken for food, but they are blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wake them up. Well, they need some kind of light to fight. Do we do that at the same time? Yeah, I'll 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 get Squeebs. <clears throat> Hale, can you uh, light you up yell, the area? You're yelling, you're yelling across the camp. Hale, I'm gonna try to wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to wave down Meepo, and okay. point to point to Whisper Mouse to choke him too. <laughs> so Meepo sneaks across the camp and. Grabs Whisper Mouse by the throat. Whisper Is that what you're telling him to do? Yeah. And I stab his ass. I fucking stab no, him with a dagger. Fuck, I'm sorry. I don't, Bro, don't do this. this is, I don't, okay. I can't believe two party you, members are fighting each other. I'm not. And I, you know, after I stab him, I realize and I do apologize, but the stab has been done. <laughs> Roll an attack. You son. Okay. 17. No. No. Okay. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm asleep, though, though right? No, I thought Westlai was waking you up. My dagger hits for one. Okay. Oh, okay, you little bitch. <laughs> do I roll Plus your D6? Do I do that or no? <clears throat> um, yeah, if you want a sneak attack, you can. Well, you don't well, have no, a advantage on it. You, yeah, you're surprised, so you don't get sneak yeah. attack. Okay, I hit him for I stab him for one. Uh, at the same time, he screams out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, am, I, am I awake? Well, you are now because you you okay, awaken right. to, to Meepo screaming out in pain as Whisper Mouse's dagger is like stuck partway into his flesh. As he does, um, you see this like huge spider leap out from the darkness beside you. You've moved over to here, leaps out and lands. Um, Right by Whisper Mouse. And I need you all to roll initiative. Holy ho, sorry, Meepo. <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> oh, I rolled it too, so Eight. that's good. Oof. Okay. Oof. 15 plus 4, so 17. All right, so uh, anybody 20 to 25? Uh, 15 to 20? Yeah, I was 18. Okay, 18 for you. I'm sorry, 17, I think. Yeah, 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, 10 to 15? 12. Okay. I'm at 11. 12 and 11. Uh, 5 to 10? 7. Whisper. Snowball. Okay. Um, up first, this... Uh, Spider that's landed next to you, Whisper Mouse. Um, you as you look up, you see these like fangs open in its mouth as it uh, bites down towards you. Oof! It is a twenty to hit. That hits. Oh. It does six piercing damage. Oh. Ow. Oof. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. 11. Oops. Oh. oh. Well, that's good. As these fangs puncture into you, you feel this burning as you as as you feel this poison try to enter your bloodstream, but your your muscles tense and you and you push the the poison back as it's unable to 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 sink into your into your system. Um at the same time, <clears throat> no, I'll just do this.
Why do I keep doing that? Another uh, spider moves down to here. Oh, shit. And um, you see across the gap here a, another one come out of the darkness. After that, it is Squeeble's turn. Um, can we like? Can I see these dudes or like? What's up? Uh, yeah, you can see um all these guys that have that have come out. Okay, maybe not these guys. Because it was like dark, right? Uh, I mean, I. Just, oh, I you can see, yeah, you can see. Um, probably this guy right next to to Whisper Just Mouse, in front. but that's about it because he's it's dark here. Okay, you can hear what's going on for sure. Right, right. Okay, uh, I am gonna cast uh, Dissonant Whispers at the one attacking Whisper Mouse. Okay, Dissonant Whisper Mouse. <laughs> So, so it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I I don't. So what do I roll? I roll a d20, right? You don't do anything actually. Oh, you, okay. I have to make a for it a wisdom saving throw. Um. It is a nine. Okay. And how that's do I against know? your. So at the top of your spell sheet, uh -huh. it says a it says a save DC. So it does not make the save. Okay. Nice. And if you see that it says twelve, I think. Um, I don't see that, but I'll believe you. Oh, okay, yes. That's for all of my or just the Yeah, okay, anything I, that's yeah. that missed a save against it against okay. your spell it has to roll at least a twelve. Alright, nice. So I whisper a melody edit takes three D six of damage. Um, you know, I'm gonna roll it on the site so I can do it all at once. Uh, four plus one plus four for nine. Nine damage. Yes. Okay. Um. And it must use its reaction if available. I don't know. It does have one to move to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Squeebles um wakes up from a sleep as he turns he um you hear this dissonant hey, melody stupid ass spider look at that stupid ass bitch. <laughs> get off my friend stinky that's what and i, I was right you see it visibly like racked with pain as it immediately tears off this direction and disappears from out of your line of sight that's just gone into the darkness um you can use your reaction if you want to, uh, Whisper Mouse, to make an attack um, of opportunity. It will be at disadvantage because you're lying prone still. But there's not, there's n nothing to lose though, right? I mean, just yeah, you're just using your reaction. Not on my turn or on my turn. Yeah. So how you many get, reactions do you get? I don't really get that. You get that as you get, often. You get one um, reaction. As part of your turn, so when your turn happens again, you'll get your reaction back. Mm. So I guess actually in this case you wouldn't have a reaction because you're you're still like coming out of being <laughs> awoken and stabbing Meepo. Okay. Okay. So that's a good call. That's my fault. Um, after that, it is uh, Wesley's turn. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I am going to, uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on that the the nearest spider okay um and then i will throw my javelin towards it okay so you watch as as uh wesley um stands up and in, in from uh 
Well, as you probably stood up because you were one of the first ones woken up. You watch as he traces this sigil in the air, um, and this magical energy like shoots across the the camp here. Following it up, he throws a dagger straight at the mark he just carved in the air. Um, roll an attack. Twenty-four. Uh, that hits. <laughs> nice. Same. Um, all right, so javelin hits for eleven. Plus okay. uh, another D six. <clears throat> Hold on. So eleven plus three, fourteen. <sighs> okay. As this javelin just digs into the side of the spider, it starts to like eek this black blood thick oozing onto the ground um it's like you hear this like as its legs like buckle underneath of it um it looks pretty hurt but still doing okay um after that it is um blackbeard black braid when i say blackbeard <laughs> good move uh, to the square right in front of Whispermouth. Okay. Actually, if I'm one square to the right of that, is he in the? Is he still within five feet of me, or do I need you to, be, to be, be here to be within five feet? I think. Uh, you yeah. could probably do it from here. No, that's fine. I can move up to that that square one up. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Um. So the first thing I'll do is attack with my mace. Okay. That's going to be a 16. Oh, that hits. Nice. Uh, seven bludgeoning damage. Damn. All right. And then as a bonus wow. action... I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. There you go. That's a good spell. Uh, so you watch as uh, as Hale moves forward up into combat or to, to melee range with the spider. With a mace in hand, he just crushes it into the open wound that uh, that Wesley just just created with the javelin. Doing so, he he's moves his hand in the air, and this um, radiant scythe forms hovering in the air where are you where are you casting it i will cast it directly behind him like exactly flanking with me i'm using i was for the moment because i don't have one so you see this this radiant energy uh scythe appear hovering in the air behind the this giant spider i think i can actually make an attack with it when i cast it oh nice roll the attack I don't think that's gonna work. It's a ten. Does not hit. So as the as the the scythe uh, materializes, it slashes forward towards the spider, um, but swings wide over its uh, over its body and does not make contact. After that, it is um, Whisper Mouse. All right. <clears throat> um, I'm going to attack this spider that Hale is attacking with my daggers. Okay. Can I get? Oops. Can I move? Uh... <laughs> parallel to him like in the divine area let me just seep right into that divine spirit wherever over yeah there. like right here yeah cool also nick move me up like two squares just so that my i'm in javelin range i forgot to i think i'm like two squares so yeah okay 12 wait actually hold on I'm sorry. Do I add anything to my base throw for attack? Why am I blanking on that? Uh, it's your dice roll plus plus, plus my hit thing, right? Yeah, it's okay. hit DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, seventeen. Uh, that definitely hits. Nice. I got a two. And okay. One. <laughs> and a four. So two, one, two, four, one. seven. Plus three, ten. Plus. Because you get three for the damage. 
1d4 plus 3. Correct. Yes. Plus 2 rolls. So yeah, 10. 10. So you watch as Whisper Mouse jumps to his feet, running forward with this dagger dripping with Meepo's blood. He plunges it into the back of the mm-hmm. of the giant spider's body, um, opening in this wound that just starts be, like pouring its its guts out. And the, the thing falls to the ground and its legs curl underneath of it and it, it is dead. Whisper Mouse! But... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, just another kill. Nice, man. Added to notch the, on the dag. A little notch on the dagger. Um, how is that spider gone? Gone? That was like running away. Like I mean, a, you definitely don't see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're. He's out of your view for sure. All right, I'm just gonna cuddle up closer to Hale. And now that'll be that'll be that. You can get to about here is all because you had to use half your movement to stand up. Yeah. Um. After that, it is uh, Zobal. So I watched the other spider run off to the right, though. All right. You Wait, watched one run straight up north, and this one has crawled out of the out into the open here. Oh, like the one that's really far away from us? Is that the one you're saying? I'm trying to look at yes. the map. Okay. Yeah, the one on the far right has crawled out into this open area, and the other one took off to the north. He's about five or ten feet further up to the north than I can put him. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay. I So you can I see him, though? Oh, no. Not really, right? My dog fish is only 60 feet. Yeah, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see him out there. He's in dark. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try. Oh, to yeah, get... you don't really see anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get in between Squeebles and Wesley. Try to wa- watch my back. Okay. <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> anything else? Uh, guess I'll, I'll try for. Oh, well, these two guys are blind, so as I'm walking over there, I'll try to pick up a rock and cast light on it and throw it in the direction that I saw one of the spiders go. All right, so this light lands up here. Uh, roll a roll a, a an attack. A ranged attack. Roll a nine. Let me see. Ranged attack. Plus two. Shit, what the hell? I don't see just range at that. Um, it's not. It's it's a dex. Oh, okay. Um, plus two. So four. So 13? Um, you get it pretty far up there. Um, it's, it's, how far does it shoot light? Uh, let me see for you. Light spell. Yeah. Um, 20 foot radius. Okay. And an additional 20 foot after that, that's dim. So it is. Uh, you got it pretty good far up here. You can you can illuminate the edge of that spider that's up there, basically to the north. Anything else you're doing? Is that it? Uh, nope, that's it. Move then cast through. All right. From the south, you hear this this even louder, heavier. Oh, as this Christ. blue and white massive uh, uh like okay. eight or nine feet in diameter spider comes charging out up oh, behind uh, Wesley. God. They got kind of moved, huh? Whoa. Wesley, take Wesley, you got this, right? I was gonna do a uh prepare, but <laughs> it is an eighteen to hit. Um now just so I know, Hunter's <laughs> Mark. To... Hunter's Mark. Um, does it change to the nearest target once we kill? Once we killed that first spider, because I believe if we if we finish that one that's marked, it it moves. On your turn, you can use a bonus action to move it to a new creature. Okay. Um, and it it's uh, eighteen, which is my yeah. AC, so that's a hit, right? Uh, yes. 
If it, if it hits your AC, it hits. Okay. You take... Two piercing damage. And I need you to make a um, constitution saving throw. Oh my gosh, a four. <laughs> Ooh. That hurts. Mm. So you take two piercing damage and as the fangs pierce into your skin you feel this burning sensation as poison courses through your veins and you take another 15 points of poison oh damage my God. for my reaction can i can i use my um uh my cutting words to roll against that yeah you said right. it was 15 but wait yep. hold on he's gonna, i'm going he's gonna to pull out the staff again i'm gonna pull something out <laughs> yeah, pull, hey i need that staff <laughs> uh all right let's see let me let me uh let me roll against this here all right my camera's not showing it i rolled a four okay uh so you'll take only 11 because I'm, I'm gonna use my cutting words against this stupid ass spider and say you're not as strong as you look bitch and i weaken his blow to you nice so only 11. it's only, only 11, 11 of the poison right 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 so 26 15 okay as he as you feel this poison pulsing into you you turn and look at this massive like blue and 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 like translucent white spider that's that's bitten into you and you're not sure if it's the the effects of the poison or or what's going on with your mind but it vanishes from view oh shit oh. he's like a, he's uh, like a bee he stung you and he died no? <laughs> and then You guys, uh, both hail Zobal and um, uh, Wesley. You see scurry out of the the forest two small swarms of spiders. They're not large like these other ones. They're small spiders, but there is a whole swarm of them. Mm. And after that, it is this guy's turn. He comes moving back towards here, and um, as the spider gets back into uh, the light, he's standing over top of this glowing stone at this point, just illuminating around him, um, and you watch as it kind of rears back and just sprays this white towards you, Whisper Mouse. Oh, come on, bro. No. Sorry. <laughs> To the window. <laughs> it is a fifteen to hit. <clears throat> um, fifteen to hit will definitely hit. But it's just so, white goop. It's white goop. Yeah, as it entangles around oh, you and rooting you to the spot, it is you are become you've become restrained by this webbing that wraps itself around you. Um, Guys, please help. <laughs> There's so much webbing. What? What is all this? Oh, I, I, so, I mean, uh, Meepo made that. <laughs> he made it. Himself. Jesus. Squeebles, it's you're back. up. Oh, I'm up again. Meepo okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you, so, like the one right to like my left, you see, that's like a gang of little ones, right? Yeah. Or there's a one little one. It's a swarm. Okay. Where'd the big ass one go? Uh, he vanished. I mean, I mean, I'll just swing at him with my my talent. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Try and slice you, him up. You, you can spell? move over. 
I have a good one for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said not. I said I do what now? Well, like, you had to just move over so you're in melee range. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh. All right. Yeah. Uh. Uh, it's a 16 plus 6, so 22. Uh, that will definitely hit. <laughs> okay. Nice. One Talon is ass. Plus 4. Oh, my God. All right. It's a 1 plus 4, so 5. All right. As you slash into this swarm of spiders, um, uh, your rapier is carving, carving through them. You see... Um, they're, I mean, they're like tarantula sized spiders. They're not massive like these other ones, but they're still pretty decent. You, you swing your sword through them. And as, as you pull back, you see several of them fall dead at the ground. The swarm getting smaller in size as you've hit them. Um, after that, it is, are you doing anything else? Um, no. Okay. Uh, Wesley it's your turn. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. As an action, okay. Hmm, this is a tricky decision here. Um, so I could see, what is that, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I could see that spider that's come back from the north. Yep. Um, all right. I will uh, step on over to the swarm. Uh, you know what? Yeah. To here? Yep. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sh you already mentioned it. it once, but you never, we never. It's your turn now. Do you want to use your bonus action first to move your hunter's mark somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to move it to that spider up top. Okay. Um, Twenty range. That's too far. Yeah, you know what? Instead of instead of going towards the swarm, I'm going to move uh, closer to Whisper Mouse uh, and throw my spear at the large spider. Cool. Roll an attack. Twenty-four. Uh, that hits. Nice. And then the spear. Eleven. Wow. And 11 hunter's points. mark. Damn. God. Is for one, so twelve total. God damn. That's a juicy hit. As you stand over the dead body of this uh, giant spider in front of you, your javelin sticking out of its side, you reach back with your spear and huck it towards the, the far spider. It pierces in. You watch half the spear disappear into the, the thorax of this body as it just embeds itself. Um, and the, the spider screeches out. Uh, any, anything else you're doing? I guess that's yeah, bonus action. I'm going to prepare... Uh... I could prepare to cast a spell if I get ambushed by that other spider. No, because no, that would be your... You already used That's your That's my action. bonus action? Okay. Yeah. Um, so it is Black Braid. So the first thing I'm going to do is cast Guiding Bolt okay. at the swarm that has not been hit yet. Okay. Uh, 20. Uh, that hits. Have you guys rolled an attack less than 20 yet? What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> yeah, I rolled, a, I rolled a 10 with my... Uh, oh, yeah, my your spiritual weapon. Yeah, my saving throw was a 4. I don't know if you remember yeah. that. I do remember that. It was nice. <laughs> it takes uh, 13 radiant. And any other... Any attack against it uh, before my next turn is... That advantage, or the first attack right. is that advantage. Sorry. So you watch as this bolt of radiant energy streaks through the camp, uh, impacting into this swarm of spiders. As it hits, over half of them are just left 
fried on their backs, their legs curled up on top of them. And then uh, uh, for my bonus, I'm going... Significantly thinned out. Nice. Uh, for my bonus, I'm going to use the scythe against the spider, the big spider. Okay. So I'll move it in range. No, All right. Move one square. Eight. You watch as this ethereal scythe moves like strangely floating through the air. Um, as it gets next to the spider, it slashes through it, um, and the spider's like abdomen is just clean cut in two as it falls to the ground Damn. dead. Damn, nice. That hit with an eight. Well, that's that spider's been hit like. Yeah, okay. well, Wes just fucking impaled it. Yeah, yeah with a spear and <laughs> a wavy car. Squeebles cast this and it ear. whispers at it. And... <laughs> whispered I in whispered his ear. Did we skip that's Zoe? Awesome. That's my turn. Someone gonna get no? me out of here! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, up next is Whisper Mouse. Uh, you can attempt to make a uh, strength check to break out. Um, strength, huh? That's not my strong suit. No pun intended. Put them little, put them little arms to. Can I dagger myself work? out and just cut this web and shit? You gotta um, use strength to get your arm to use the dagger. I don't know that you can. You can just be like, <laughs> <laughs> He's just waving her. <laughs> All right, I'll do Let me strength. look real quick to see what the. Uh... <clears throat> I don't remember exactly what you can and can't do as a. That's right. I'm gonna roll a uh, nat twenty on my strength check here. What's up? Okay. What was that? What was the last thing you said? Nat twenty. Mm. Fucking coming, baby! Yay! So can we, it's a ten. Can we get a camera? It's a ten. Okay. But it's actually <clears throat> minus one, so it's a nine. That's not gonna be enough. Nope. So he watches as Whispermouth kind of like yells out this ah! as he tries to break through the web. Uh, you see him struggling and the 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 whole form kind of shifts a little bit in place, but um, he's unable to to break himself out of this uh, this web. I can't get out, uh, guys. Someone after that, it is magic so or ball. something. I don't know. Is the, is the top? Um swarm i i can't tell because it looks like it's in the middle is it 15 feet away from the other swarm or is it it's yeah like 10 okay right? it's 20 okay well, that's Wait, 15. each one of those is five right it's yeah 10. so 15 feet oh. um okay i'm gonna do we kill that big spider up top there right yeah, yeah. okay okay so, um, so which way did the? I didn't see where the big one went. It disappeared. It literally, just vanished. Vanished. Yeah. vanished in place, in front of our eyes. Okay, I'm gonna um, shit. No. Uh, I'm gonna take the scroll from my neck and <laughs> try to for imbue as much arcane power as I can and into Aiku is who's on my shoulder and tell him to show his true power and cast um dragon's breath on him and have him go next to squeebs and breathe um real quick when i did the nature check on spiders do i know if they're vulnerable to any type of element damage they're always or vulnerable to just... fire that's just like a spider rule yeah you know that yeah just in any game gotcha you study spiders yeah gotcha. <laughs> the last one was blue and white though it could be eye that's spider true yeah um who is this? You know that which. You know that there are some spiders that are resistant to certain types of physical damage. Physical. Okay, I'm just gonna do acid. I'm gonna hope that that's good enough. So he's gonna do acid breath. So he's gonna fly you're fine, to you're... where. So he's gonna fly to where Screebs is, Aiku is, and he's gonna do a breath weapon on that swarm in front of him. Okay. And then five. That's eleven points of acid damage, Ooh. but it's a, it's, a, it's a DC thirteen. Dex save. Dex save on the yeah. swarm. Yeah. Uh, that is not gonna save. Damn. 
So the storm's been hit by uh, Talon, Gweebles, and by who's the other one? Who hit the other one? I hit the northernmost. Swarm. Oh, with magic. Yeah. Okay. And how much was the the breath weapon? Uh, eleven, five, and six. All right. As acid. As so as Igoas flies over, you see him just spew this acid out of its of his tiny little owl mouth, <laughs> just covering this swarm of spiders in this dripping green uh, liquid. Um, and the spiders are, they, they both look pretty fucked up. Both swarms at this point look uh, pretty decimated. I'm going to have Aikuas fly back to me, by the way. He does fly by attack. Just like Okay. Right. As, he, as he mimics the, the white dragon that attacked you earlier in the campaign, <laughs> he, he flies overhead, spewing this acid and, and veers it around and comes flying back to you. Um, after that, it is... From right behind you, the spider... Oops. Appears back in, oh, in the physical it. realm and makes a bite attack against you. Son of a bitch. It is 16 to hit. Yes. I will react again and I will use my cutting words and say, oh shit, a spider. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm gonna roll against that uh, that hit. So what is that? What happens? So I rolled a three, so it's it's thirteen to hit now. It still hits. Oh I think. shit! Can this kill me in one shot? Do we think that? It's not looking good. You don't know. Okay, well, do I? You do got I... low armor class, Ubal. Yeah, dude. Got yeah. big brain, low AC. Now, what do I? Oh, fuck. Does that? You take. As the uh, as the fangs pierce into you, you take seven points of piercing damage. Uh, oh, okay, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yeah, dude, I thought I, I was dead. Well, and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's what really hurt. Yeah, here we go. Poison rejecting muscles are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit, dude. I rolled a six plus two, so that's an eight. Am I dead from this? Let's see. I don't like the smirk that's on Nick's face. Yeah, he's, he's the. You take eleven points of poison damage. Mm. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, anybody? anybody I'm Are you leaking? I'm hunched <laughs> over, just pouring blood. <laughs> um. After that, this. A swarm here moves over top of you, Squeebles, and you feel this spiders running all over your body as they bite any open flesh that they can find. I thought it was um, thinned out. I mean, it is. Yeah, there's like two of them on me. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> it is an eight to hit. Oof. <laughs> I'm going to flick those suckers <laughs> off me then. The same thing happens to you, Wes, from the other swarm. That is a. 19 to hit. Oh, you got those are the good ones, dude. Dang. I got the bitch ass spiders. <laughs> As they find the, the open holes in your armor, you feel these spiders biting all over you. You take, ooh, seven points Dang. of piercing damage. Jeez those Louise, man. Above wow. spiders. Wow, you yeah, hit, Is it, boys? <laughs> Campaign's about to end. <laughs> nah. Uh, I mean, after that, one or two of us will die. It's no big deal. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. We can do it out the wizard. It's fine. After that, it is uh, this guy's turn. All times, like I've been watching us fight his friends all the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> going on over there. <laughs> Ooh. 
as the as this spider just comes into your view, Zobal, you're the only oh, one I think probably who God. can see it. Uh -oh. You see this ball of of white substance come flinging across the camp towards you. It is a nat twenty oh. as, it, <laughs> as it wraps itself around, mm, binding you in place. Your arms are restrained to your sides. Nut. <laughs> okay, one more time nut. for him. Casket a nut on him. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead in that bitch too. Yeah, just in a, I'm already in a coffin. I'm already like, <laughs> dead in a nut. After that, it is uh, Squeebles. Um. All right, I can still see this big sucker, right? You can. <laughs> okay. <this big> <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to, uh, well, I'm, okay, hold on. Let me think for a sec. What am I going to do to this sucker, actually? Kill him. That's what you're going to do. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do that, but I ain't got that kind of power, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> mm, all right. I'm just gonna take the old talon to him, I think. I'm gonna run up on him with the old talon. Wow. Bold. I don't got much out. I sing songs, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, a nat 20 Ooh. plus five. Oh, dude, I get something for this. Crit. Oh, fuck. For the nat 20. So, with the talon. Crit, you watch as. As Squeebles comes running across the the room here, as you leave, <laughs> the spiders the spiders bite through your armor, and you take five points of piercing damage. Oh shit! Oh, shit. As you leave their uh, their uh, melee range. Um, um what about your yeah, spicy gotta... attack? What happened? Yeah, roll well, your. I gotta... I gotta roll figure your... out what it, I gotta look at it again. Yeah, you gotta roll your damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me roll my damage. Let me roll my damage. Uh, it's a D eight, right? I think. Uh, the yeah. talent. A D eight plus. <laughs> three. I got an eight. Oh, oh twelve. Shit. So oh, yeah, I hit him for twelve. The eight is doubled because it's an Ooh, it's a crit. Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be a, so yeah. D eight <laughs> doubled, so sixteen. Stab it in the heart, dude. Three. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't roll a D eight. Nineteen. Oh, I rolled a D twelve. I'm a liar. Hold on. Oopsie. I lied. Uh... I lied. I'm a sucker. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna roll the D eight now. Dude, don't roll that one. Uh, I just literally rolled a one, so. No! Uh, oh. So, yeah, so, hey, it's still two plus Why do you five. have dice cam? I, I don't know, because I'm not a liar. <laughs> I'm not a liar. Regardless, a guy. as he steps forward, he swings this his new magical rapier across the, the body of this, um, this spider, and as he does, you see sprout from the back of Squeeble's uh, abdomen this <sighs> pair of red feathered what wings as he lifts off the ground and is hovering <laughs> in the air above the battlefield. What the fuck, Squeeble? <laughs> Squeeble's... I thought you were going to stay at the bar to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, so I'm just flying now, guys, just so everyone knows. Holy shit. Eight, five, oh my ten. Gosh. You, uh, you can still move if you want to. Uh, well, you, you'll leave. I'm to just fly around slicing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to ask this, but if I, like, fly behind him right now with all my movement, does, does that open up for him to attack me or what? If you stay in melee range, he cannot attack you. All right. I'm flipping around him then. I'm going behind him, flying in the skies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. Um, after that, it is Black Braid. Oh. So, uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, <people hurt. laughs> oh, 
for oh, for my action. I don't want to uh, hear it, dude. I'm going to uh, I'll touch my holy symbol and I am going to um, uh, channel divinity. So I will give I will heal uh, Zubal for ten and Westlife oh, for five. Shit. Nice. Thank you, kind sir. And then as my bonus, I'm going to move the scythe down. I think I can move it right next to Westlife. And is the swarm on him or can I hit it? I mean, it's on him. It's occupying the same space as him. You can probably still hit it. All right, I'll try to hit it. As long as you don't, you know, do really bad. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? Like, don't roll in that one. <laughs> Well, Does that mean it hits me? It's a 12 to hit? Uh, that is its armor's class. Holy shit. So that hits. So I actually hit something with the scythe? Wow. There you go. All right. So. It will take. It takes. Uh... What is it is eight damage. Magical damage, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just grabbing you the type. It's force. Okay. So you watch as the scythe comes right up next to you, Wes, as you feel this healing aura <laughs> encompass you and and <sighs> and you feel refreshed. All of a sudden this this scythe comes spinning towards you, carving the spiders off this off of your body until only like a few remain skittering around on, on, on top of you. Wow. Uh, and it is, I believe, your turn. Me? Yeah, I don't think you went yet, right? No. Okay. Okay, so there's still some swarm on me. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Do they hit less the smaller the swarm or not? Is it, they roll in regardless? I don't think you know. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't know that. Okay. Um, all right, so as my bonus action, I will move the, uh, uh, Hunter's Mark. Oh, okay. Well, where, where, oh, it was on the big spider, yeah. Um, is it an action for me to grab my javelin off the ground from the first dead spider? No, but it would be a bonus action. Okay, all right, never mind, I don't need it. Um... I will... Okay, so my bonus action was moving the target, moving the uh, mark. Um, uh, am I... Can I try to break uh, Whisper Mouse from the web? Uh, yeah. Um... And then that's my action, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. That's it, dude. <sighs> I'm just trying to think, is it worth? Is it more worth it for me to heal myself uh, mm -hmm. this turn? Because I'm pretty low. Um, <laughs> tough. It's a tough decision. You know, it's a tough decision. I got a swarm on me. Um, yeah, you know what? Whisper Mouse, I'll get you, I'll get you soon, man. Uh, oh, shit! Okay. You don't have a swarm on you. You're not being injured. Uh, I'll be down here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. For 11. All right. Okay. Uh, and then I can move still. Uh, I yeah. guess if I move, I'll get attacked by the swarm. Probably. Yeah. I can't really do anything else. All right. We'll see how it goes. All right. <laughs> yeah. We'll Whisper Mouse, it is your turn. You can attack the web at disadvantage, or you can try to strength break out. 
Mm. I'll go with strength again, I guess. You probably have a better shot trying to cut your way out. All right, we'll cut, we'll cut our way out. <clears throat> with my dagger, I uh, do a 10. Roll damage. It's not a hard target to hit. It is a stationary <laughs> web. Uh, so the damage would be 3 plus 3, 6. And you slice through hey. the the web, bursting out. You free yourself. You are no longer restrained. I'm free! And that's my turn, I presume. <clears throat> you still have movement and bonus action if you wanted to use either one of them. Um, Get these things off of me, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I can't help Wes with whatever he's got on him. That wouldn't be. Yeah, you can stat. You can attack the spider swarm that's on him. Yeah, I'll do that. Even Natural though, even one. though he wouldn't. Natural one. Even yeah, though he yeah. wouldn't. Free Hit West. My ass. Hit West, dude. <laughs> you you stab one of our party. Natural. Yeah, for real, Natural. West. Natural. <laughs> one. Twenty. Oh, oh don't scare me get like that, dude. Put the cam on it. Don't Put the cam on it. Don't scare me like that, bro. I can't. There's a glare. There it is. Damn. Wow. There it is. What a time to get in that 20. Yeah. <laughs> get him fucking one little spider off West. <laughs> it, literally has, I don't, it literally has one HP. Yeah. <laughs> you like, there's oh, no. one last like tarantula, <laughs> like the size of like a, uh, yeah. like a, I don't know, a small dinner plate crawls across Wes's, Wesley's chest. You take your dagger <laughs> and just pin it to him. Uh, Right into the chain, the chain mail that's holding there. This spider's just dead. His legs curling up around towards towards your hand. Maybe next time, get me up. <laughs> uh, you have movement if you want to use it as well. Otherwise, uh, I'll stay right here. Okay. Um, it is still like I mean, this whole area is still almost completely dark except for the area that you're standing in that's got a glowing rock on the ground. Pick up the rock. Uh, up next, it is uh, Zobal. Whispermouse, that's good that you killed one little spider while me and Squeebles are fighting the mother of spiders down here. I'm fucking trapped, Zobal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm bleeding out, so... Um... <laughs> You, you were 10. So, no, you did. You did. But uh, that thing hits for more than 10. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't have a dagger in my hand. So, how do I get out of this? I have to try to strength check. What do I do? Yeah, you can try to bust out with a strength check. Can I try to firebolt and just burn it? Uh, f No. No. Okay. Um, you could at a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, a little, a little uh, hand movement. Because <laughs> it's, it's a verbal and a somatic. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, because I, I have component. a couple of spells. That, um, I don't think you have anything that's just verbal. Uh, yeah, like ice knife is somatic and material. Oh yeah, cast ice knife at it. Do that. That'll be fun. Can I do it? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to make a savior for yourself, and you're restrained. Uh. uh... So you I fail. I can't. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't magic missile it. Um, shit, dude. You could cast firebolt at it, but it's at disadvantage. Okay, so I'll try. Or try to break out with strength check. Mm, no, there's no not a chance in hell. All right, so I'll do the firebolt. Roll to fifteen and a seven, which is. You want the plus to it or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so five, so twelve. Okay. So you watch as as Zobal like you see this like movement underneath the the web as his hand reaches out and turns to the side, and you see this glowing uh, fire from across the camp burning inside. It looks like his body is starting to light on fire. And all of a sudden, the spider web melts through, and Zobal like bursts out, standing there, covered in this sticky, like dripping, uh, wet web. 
Okay, well, I scream because of how disgusting <laughs> this is. <laughs> and then I have um, Aiku is try to kill the rest of that swarm so it doesn't engulf me okay. with, the breath, with the breath weapon that's still on him. Okay. It lasts for a minute, so that's... Uh, shit, I rolled really good. A six, a four, and a five. Fifteen. Yes. Dang. And a DC uh, 13. DC 13. Swarm of spiders. It rolled a four. Um, so you watch as Icoist flies by burning the last of this swarm of spiders. It As Icoist uh, completes the flyby, the entire like swarm has just dissolved into muck on the ground. Okay. My cycle was. Hey, you really hit him with that throw code, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> However, oh no, shit! Standing behind you. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> the face spider bites down. Uh, okay, that's fine. It is a twenty-three to hit. <laughs> You're fucking dead. <laughs> hit me, dude? Yeah, to hit you. Fuck, dude. He was facing right at you. Now, do you roll? Okay, because I'm probably gonna die. Do you? Do I know damage first with Chrono Shift or no? I just know that you hit. Uh, I don't know. What does it say? Mm. So, creature with thirty or thirty feet of you make attack roll ability check. You make the decision after you see whether the roll succeeds or fails. So he hits you. Oh. Okay. Zobal tries to shift time with his magical powers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this I do. I'm dead. <laughs> I, got, I got a low ass AC. It's an 11 to hit. No. I'm serious. I rolled a 7 plus 4. Well, okay. <laughs> so you watch as the, this face spider lurches forward with his fangs biting into to, to Zobal's flesh as he's just busted out of this restraining web. You see the fangs sink into his back from like from your like elevated perspective, uh, Squeebles, as you're looking down, you see the fangs like pierce like two or three inches into his back. And then in a oh, moment <laughs> in a moment as you're saying that you see the the spider twitch in place and it's back to before it before it moved to bite it lurches forward again and the fangs miss <sighs> alright who's up next okay <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you didn't get hurt or you uh, no I no. changed I changed time holy jeez dang as it you misses, this you hear this, but and it vanishes from sight again. Of a bitch. Um, after that, it is. Uh, no, you don't have that. Um, this guy is going to try to get his web back. He gets to hear, and he attempts to shoot a web at you, uh, Squeebles. Right there. He's flying ass? King, I'm flying ass. Yeah, it's a natural one. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> completely unaware. It just, like, shoots it at the ground <laughs> underneath of you, and you're just hovering above it with these red feathered wings that are just holding you aloft. Wow. All those eyes. Can't even see me, bitch. <laughs> Damn. All right. Okay. Um, it is your turn, Squeebles. All right. Uh, I'm going to try something really stupid here, but I'm going to swing at where I was just right in front of this spider and okay. hope that I hit something there. <laughs> okay. So do roll I, roll, I roll an attack? All right. Yep. <laughs> 
It is a 13 plus 6, so 19. Damn. Your blade cars through the air, and as it finishes its swing out the other side, you have felt no resistance and hit nothing. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. So, Sorry, guys. <laughs> stay there or uh i mean i can move like a bunch with my wings right now right or is move... that over no you can move oh it's set to your turn uh to the is it to the end of your next turn i don't know actually yeah the end you have 40 feet of movement still okay uh i'm not in attack range of this spider right you are not okay yeah, I'll just go fly over with, like, the group by hail. All right, as close as I can get to him, I guess. Yeah, you can get all the way over to him. All right, yeah. Um, So you watch as... Well, I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you later, as, Zuba. As Squeeble, oh, with these red feathered wings, just flies across towards the, the, the light of the stone across the across the camp as he as he gets there you watch as these red feathered wings start to 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 shrink back inside of his back and he lands on the ground next to you hail <laughs> and then it is wes's turn <laughs> if you guys have been uh, updating My your health turn. refresh your uh, D &D yeah, so beyond i was gonna say okay wait i have to hit refresh even though i'm doing it yeah and just so it like pushes to the twitch okay i think you got to refresh the twitch uh no no oh no no too. actually no actually I I, yeah i just refreshed my uh D, D page and it did it it, do, the... it should update it you gotta refresh your own page so it pushes the change okay weird i should only yeah. have like it's my watching. turn i'm gonna look at your thing i think yeah. okay oh, let me refresh within 10 feet hmm <sighs> Okay, I am going to uh, pick up my javelin as a bonus action and throw it at the uh, spider that is visible. Okay. You're going to move closer a little bit? It's 20 feet, um, right? Or is it longer for the javelin? Uh, okay. Javelin's 30. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Throwing a Hail Mary. Roll the attack. Uh, 10. Oof. Um, that does not hit. He watches the javelin falters through as it flies through the air, um, landing just shy of the spider, clattering to the to the ground in front of it. Anything else? Um, I will move. Yeah, I'll move a little bit closer to, uh, like halfway towards Zobo. All right. Up next, it is, uh, Hale. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to move uh, 25 feet right in front of uh, Zobal, basically straight down, yep, right there. Um, then I'm going to cast uh, Guiding Bolt at the spider. All right. That is a 17. Uh, that hits. Nice. Uh, 12 radiant. Wow. All right. Yeah. It's a good hit, dude. And then so he watches as uh, this bolt of, of radiant energy streaks through the camp once again. This flash of light as it impacts into the body of the spider, like burning a hole into its abdomen. And then uh, I'll move the scythe 20 feet towards me. And that's my turn. All right. After that, it is Whisper Mouse. <clears throat> uh, all right. I'm going to go behind and to the right of Wesseli. Right one. Mm. Here? Maybe maybe behind Hale. Like one more, right one more right. And then I'm going to... Uh, take my bow out and try to hit the visible spider. Okay. Roll attack. 
is a it is a six plus five eleven. Uh, is not going to do it. Your 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 arrow glances off the side of its body, a ricocheting off into the darkness. Rip. Oh shit! Zubal, it is all you. All right. Um, move. Wait. Shit. All right. Um, I'm going to move behind Squeebles, but as I'm moving behind, I'm going to send out Ikuiz. Okay. To do a breath weapon on him. You're going to move behind Squeebles. I meant, uh, sorry, uh, Whisper Mask. Like up here? Yeah. Okay. Wow, just because we're both short? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty racist. <laughs> so, uh, six, five, and three. So, six, is it 11, uh, 14. DC, 13. Ah, uh, come on, baby. Save, save, save. <laughs> A dex, oh, that's a fucking three, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> blows, a um, ass, blows a little acid on him. Yeah, he has 14 health too, so that's great. Um, oh my god, he watches the acid just burns through his torso, um, hollowing out the, the thorax of his body, and he he falls to the ground and, and is dead. Yo, I is a savage, I yeah. know, right? That show, his, show his true power. So I said to him, he did say that. Yeah, I did. I did. Is it Ikowis or Ikowise? In place, you hear this Ikowis. as the space spider returns oh, to the material shit. plane and it makes a bite attack against you, Hale. Wait. It is a 23 to hit. Oh, Dang! This better be rolling, rolling. It hits. Crack, 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 roll. It is six <laughs> piercing damage. Uh, okay. It's and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. That's crazy is it against poison yes i'm resistant oh, oh shit i know Take that ice ass fucking he's resistant nothing, he said <laughs> nothing dude he said what save constitution huh? 18 mm, nice God. <laughs> All right, you you feel the the poison pulse against your skin, and you just like it's unable to even permeate any portion of you at all. Um, it's a good thing I have resistance because the first roll was a one. Oh, oh dang! Shit. Nice, dude. Um, after that, it is. Um, what's a lie, bitch? Yeah, Squeebs actually. Oh, oh damn. Uh, how far is he from me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 feet. Put that um, bitch to sleep. 25 feet. Okay, 25 feet. Yeah, uh, you could get within 25 feet. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll try and, I'll try and get him to sleep. Why not? Oh shit! We can ask the questions then when it wakes up. <laughs> yeah. you just get a good smack on it at an advantage. Can I roll animal handling and see if he'll join oh, our crew? My. Oh my god! <laughs> Are we, you, could, we could just add him to the to the to the team. Sleep? Uh, at, yeah, I roll five d eight. So it's first good. level or second level. Uh, Ooh. Mm, that's a very good question. Ooh. Second level spells now, I'll kid. Do, I'll do second. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, he really yeah, sleeping. So you roll 78. <laughs> he really sleeping. Damn, dude. He Seven. extra sleep. All right. It's going to be awkward if he doesn't get it, huh? 42. What? Yeah. You watch eight, as five, in front of you. These eight, like, white translucent legs all just like relaxed straight out to the side and the spider lays belly down completely asleep. Wow, dude. Yeah. Someone hit that mother sucker. All right, tie it up so we can... But, are we, we taking it as a hostage? Ask a question? Yeah, are we taking it as a hostage? <laughs> yeah. 
y'all speak spider? I don't know. Do we have well, eight, do we have eight ropes to tie up his legs? <laughs> what? That's animal handling. Give him a little bracelet on each leg. Right? <laughs> I think, gentlemen, I think I think Meepo should have the last kill. I don't. Oh, okay. I, I don't appreciate it, how honestly, he woke right? me up. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with Hale. <laughs> well, we all hit at the same time? Yeah, but what has yeah, he done can this we whole do that? Can we plan that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a sleep. You can you can all save your attack until... I mean, hold your attack until... But it could wake this... up and zap away. No, no, like brothers. Wow. Like brothers. Let's all stand around it. Kill it together. No, you would... Knowing the, knowing the spell, he would know that the spell is... A, or the spider's asleep for the next minute. Oh. So, yeah. oh yeah, we got enough time. <laughs> so we gather around him and we all get ready to strike at the same time in his freaking eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, yeah. Let's circle. All right, <laughs> all right. You guys all roll attack. Um, he's still marked for me. I hope I hope no one's across from me because I'm breathing acid on it again. <laughs> we roll attack, or we roll, like we roll like a the nat twenty, right? Yeah, like you're. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I got, I got him with a nineteen. I got a thirteen. Oh, plus, I got a sixteen. Six. Plus five or plus six, I think. So I got twenty-five. And the scythe gets an eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Um hang on a second. He is asleep. I think they're considered unconscious. So you guys all roll at advantage. I don't know how to do that actually. You just roll just a d20 roll again, and whatever the highest is, you get to oh. keep that one. Okay. Well, I got like a 25, so. Yeah. So, um, yeah. No. I got a three my next time. Shit. I rolled a 20. 22 19. at advantage. Okay, you guys are just destroying uh, this thing. All right. 21 and 18. And it is unconscious, so <laughs> anybody who is hitting it within five feet also auto crits. Yeah, <laughs> so you guys I can walk, roll I can walk up on it, right? Can I yeah. auto crit with a spell? Uh, if it's a, a ranged attack spell, yeah. Well, yeah, no, I, actually, yeah. I was going to cast Ice Knife on it. <laughs> I'm pissed off. It made me dirty, dude. Fucking shot webs on me. It might be resistant I mean, to sure, ice. Sure, cast, cast Ice Knife on it. Dude, I got a one. I got a one, too. Plus three, so, or plus yeah, four. I got a so four. Five, but... All right. I do six. <clears throat> so, auto crit. What does that do for a spell? I second one attack, dude. I suck. I don't so, know if it if it does auto crit on a for ice knife to be honest. Yeah. So do, what do I add for crit for that? You just double the whatever the dice roll is. Oh, so two, great. Do you double the actual dice roll or your modifier too? The just the dice. And then yeah. you add your modifier on top of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I got a two plus four, so six. I hit for five. Hits don't double the damage, but instead allow all damage dice to be rolled two times. Roll all the attack damage twice and add them together. Critters. I'll do 12 bludgeoning, and then the scythe will do Shit. 15 force. No. So that's 27, Shit. plus you guys do another I did 10, five. 11, so 38. 36, 8, What are you casting? Ice knife, and I was letting Aikuiz breathe on him again as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I think what do you so, wait, what? Should I As roll? All of your bladed implements come crashing down into the body of the sleeping face spider. Uh, its body is like caves in on itself. As it does, this this acid spray covers the body, and a a blade of ice pierces into the top of it, exploding the entirety of this phase spider and i need you all to make dexterity saving throws oh, I, like this. Oh, I like this i like this wait i didn't get to attack <laughs> what, what, what were you doing what? while we were all attacking <laughs> i was waiting for the to do the math well my dex throw i don't think my, it explodes my dex throw is 15 okay well i didn't hear you wave you're muted i did in that 20 plus three so 23 wow Damn. You do fucking eight backflips out of this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Hail. Um, 
<laughs> Six. Gymnastics. Just backhand yeah, yeah. swing. <laughs> All right. Did you? Oh. Did half uh, round. Did you do an ice knife or the breath weapon? I'm doing the the ice knife right now. Okay. So that's eight I, points. I never. That's eight. I points. never moved. Eight points are cold. Okay. So, <laughs> as it explodes, this the ice knife that hits it to to trigger the explosion ricochets back towards Hale, and you take eight uh, cold damage as these these uh, small shards of ice pepper your body. Yeah, Hale did. Mm-hmm. You had to do that yeah, one, too, it, well, huh? It, it, hey, hey, screw this spider, huh? Yeah, and your friend too, apparently. Last time I heal you. Zubo, you just turn Italian? What? <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you guys all need to make another dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. yeah. what? Listen. Wait, in what radius? Listen. Yeah, we uh, all circled the spider except Wes. He never moved. I never <laughs> moved. Right. Oh my geez. Just move us all around the spider except Wes. Uh, okay. Is this for like the spider blowing up or some shit? No, this is for Ico is breathing a 15 foot cone of acid <laughs> over oh, the entirety God. of this. Dexterity? Guys. Dude, Zubo yeah. throwing. I got Guys. a 19. Okay. Okay. So I got a 16. Damn it! I got a nat one. Oh, I don't know what you're right? Oh, was... you do. You get a reroll nat ones, I think. He's about to don't take, uh, don't take half. half. I, is it well, all halflings? Yeah. He's a half. Yeah, he's yeah. halfling luck. Lucky. Yeah, you get to re-roll it. Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> yeah, on save. There you nice. go. Nice, and then plus three for dex, so 17. You guys all save. That's nice. Oh. Which means we take half, right? I don't know. Do they take yeah. half or? Yeah, yeah, they take half. It was <laughs> it was 13 acid damage. So you guys all take six acid damage as oh, I go with we do sprays acid over the top of this body, um, hitting you guys in the process. Even with you the dex just... save. That's yeah, a, you take I, half damage. You would have taken all 13. I have spider guts on me and webs. I'm pissed off. Oh and now acid, God. too. No, but not me. Not me. Oh. Yeah, the cone comes from him. Oh, great. And with that, come, I thought it comes from the Mike camp Echoist. falls into an eerie silence once more. Nice. And that's where we'll stop for today. Nice. Dang, we got banged up. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, not by, by our enemy, no, but by, by Zobal. Zobal. <laughs> yeah. By yeah. our friend. Okay, before I forget, I collect my spear and javelin. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, dice are going in the bag, boys. Nice session. GG's. Hell yeah. Wavy Wednesday next you? week. Is that good? Right? Is that cool? That's good. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Good. You install Mario or what? I pre-installed, yeah, modifier. <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. Was fun. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye. Later. Yo, bye-bye. GG. Jeez. I was ready to unleash everything I had, and you guys... <laughs> why didn't why, you why, I, I did. I did. Why haven't we put every enemy to sleep first? Well, first off, he cast at second level. That's why it was, like, insane. Yeah, plus... Dude, he, don't, he had 40 target. HP. That would put any of us to sleep. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah, that was nuts. Any of us would have been fucking down for the freaking count. Freaking wavy rolled a nat 20 on his talon, grew yeah, freaking yeah, yeah. red wings yeah. out of his back. And yeah, then was that, he was, that was wild hard. that yeah, fight. That was, that was awesome. What? That was cool. Is that like a special ability halflings have? It's talon. A talon? Oh, oh, the the dagger that he has, mm-hmm. the rapier that he oh, has. Oh, oh shit, that's so wild. That's sick. Yeah, that is wild. Yeah. Magic weapons in five years, sweet. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, dude, that's like, stuff. dude, in like three point five, you'd have to do have like a legendary weapon and like level right. it just to have something like that. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was fun. I can't believe one of us didn't go down. I was, oh, was so close, man. I was, at three, I was at three HP, dude. I was waiting for it. Yeah, that was, yeah, I know that you was were. close. Mm. I, thought, I thought the swarms were going to get us. Oh, yeah, you were down until that freaking chronal shift. 
Yeah, dude, I know, no, dude, I was down. <laughs> oh, Wavy, oh, yeah. Wavy, Wavy came in the clutch in that fight for you sure. You were like super yeah. down. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, was it? It? did you roll it already? Uh, I had only rolled the, um, the piercing damage. It was eight piercing damage. Oh, dude, I was, oh, I was dead. Oh, I was dead. But I think, oh, it'd been a con save after that. It would only been, oh. <laughs> Another t- t- twenty-one damage, dude. Why? I would have been so. Like your dead. whole 